Yo, how are we doing everybody? It is time once again to play Pokemon Emerald in our beautiful, beautiful Nuzlocke. Yo, we have done so many amazing things so far. We have five badges, dude. Five badges. I can't believe we actually beat Norman last time. Like, that is that is so intense, man. But yeah, no, it doesn't it doesn't stop here. It doesn't stop here. We got three more badges we need to get before we're ready to take on the Elite Four. But, uh, yeah, um, hmm. I don't know if I want to, like, swim down here. I don't know how strong the trainers are on this route. I'm a little worried about that. It's a teensy-weensy bit. I could go and take the Rustboro Tunnel. I could take the tunnel to go to Mallville, and then just go east from there. And, like, that's where I need to go. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little bit tempted. Nah, 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 nah. Like, I'm not sure what's going on over there. But I'm pretty certain I need to go this way. So let's let's do that. I think that's what we'll do. Um, what Pokemon do I have with me right now? Like, Tentacle, Water Snake, Controlius. Is that, um... Yeah, the Orin Berry. Blue, Surviper, Rattata. Oh yeah, we have a Surviper. Oh man. That's right, because we lost... We lost a few Pokemon last time, man. We lost... what were their faces? We lost Vexatious? Or Vex2. Well, actually, we lost both of them, because there was a Vex2 and a Vexatious. Well, he was, his name was Vexchina, I believe. It was a Mightina? And yeah, we lost that while grinding. And yo, Controllus is in here saying, Yo, Vinx, what's good, man? You lost everyone last night? Yo, it wasn't, it wasn't quite everyone. We did beat Norman. We are carrying on with our adventure. But yeah, we lost, we lost a few Pokemon. We lost four altogether in just yesterday's stream, I believe. And we lost my Ina. We lost, uh, the new Mel that was Vex 2. He died at the gym leader. We lost Ginbu, the Torkoal. We sacrificed him so we could beat Norman. And then there was one other Pokemon I lost. Oh yeah, my Beautifly! Jay Globes! He died too. He died to something really random, man. He got hit by a crit, and that was that. Oh yeah, and Tim Swampert. Ah, <sighs> rest in peace, Tim Swampert, man. He didn't deserve to go. That was that stupid, like, that's two crits. Two of my Pokemon I lost just to crits, man. Just the stupid, dumb old crits. <laughs> Controlly says, you're right, it wasn't everyone, you kept me alive. Yeah, yeah we did, man. Oh, it was tough too, it was so difficult. Like, I didn't know if we were going to be able to do it. Yeah, man, Minion came in clutch. So clutch with the, uh, with the Encore on the counter. It was super useful. Um, do I get anything from him? Oh, hail me as a hero. Recently, our company developed a new kind of Pokeball. As our token of our appreciation, this is our gift to you. Ah, oh, repeat ball. Thanks, man. I mean, it's no master ball, but, uh, that'll have to do. I was wondering what he was doing just standing there. There's gotta be a reason for that. Alright. Make our way through the cave. Easy peasy. Because, yeah, this will take us to, um, whatever that town is. The one that, uh, Wally lives in. Then... If we keep going east, we can get to Mallville. But yeah, I'm supposed to be able to re-challenge trainers now, aren't I? I think that is the case. Yeah, and who's the, who's the next gym leader? I need to look that up. Let me see what that is. This is the Hoenn League. Um, Bulbapedia says it is... Oh yeah, that's right, it's Winona, I forgot. Alright, let's check out Winona see what she's all about. She has... Um, oh, she has five Pokémon. A Swablu, a Tropius, a Pelipper, a Skarmory, and Altaria. Jeez, man. Um... Hmm. And yo, Skylar's in here. How are you doing, Skylar? Hopefully you're doing well. And Controls was saying, well, I'm a Lyric while you try to get good and not be super trash and play my Fire Red mod and not get bodied. <laughs> Like and by you. Yo, good luck, man. Uh, let's see, let's see. Yeah, you know, my Minion is super effective against three of Winona's Pokemon. 
It will definitely level him up. Oh, and the new Max is level 33, so she's not too much stronger than Norman. But that is a dragon <laughs> with Earthquake. Oh man, it has Dragon Breath too. Oh boy. Oh boy, not not Dragon Rage, that is Dragon Breath. Oh my goodness. Is there like any ice Pokemon I could get anywhere? Because if I had an ice type, that would be super effective on a uh, Reaver Pokemon, especially the Altaria. But I don't know if it's possible to catch an ice type between here and there. Probably not. Probably not. The game doesn't love to throw ice types at you. But yeah, and how am I supposed to re-challenge people? How does that work? Do I just have to use Match Call? Because I know it's a feature in this game. I just don't know how it works. Um... What route is that? I think it's 117. Uh, hello? Oh, Binks, hi there. This is Anna. Listen, listen, you have to hear this. I had a Pokemon battle earlier, but I lost it the last second. Oh, it burns me up. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's interesting. <laughs> Yo, Controlius! Gifted a tier 1 sub to Super 2 bot. Yo! <laughs> I appreciate that, man. I didn't even notice that Super 2 bot subscription had run out. Yep, yep. Gotta allow Super 2 bot to use the get good emote. <laughs> the bot deserves to tell me to get good. Exactly, that is very important. Yo, thank you, Catrolius. But yeah, it's it's really cool, man. I like that the emote works like that. They can issue the command and the bot can use the uh, emote. It's just it all flows into each other, right? Um, yeah, let's put blue in front. Be a little bit careful. Good Rod is really good, wouldn't you agree? Yes. Hmm, we're of identical minds. Take this good rod. Oh, well, that's that's not too bad, man. That's not too bad. Oh, yeah, and that's for secret power. I don't have secret power. Alright. Oh, man, I want a Lapras. But I'm on route one something right now? I don't know. Yeah, I should look that up. The Mauville. Yeah, it should be to the right of Mauville. Oh, he didn't go down in one attack? I forget how, like, bulky his special defense is. Jeez, Tentacle. No, oh, Route 118, okay. And then past Route 18, we have Route 19 up and Route 123 to the right. What kind of possible Pokemon do we have? Um, let's see, let's see. There's Oddish <laughs> Zigzagoon. Kelsion Tropius. Oh, Tropius. Um, not the best Pokemon, but like, it can fly. <laughs> that would be a start. I really wouldn't mind getting a Pelipper. That would be kind of cool. Let's see, there's Carvana. But you need. Wait, no, no, you can catch him with a good rod, but. Yeah, no, no, no. Catching him with a good rod would be easy. We're oh, yeah, getting Phoebus. Oh, Steven, hello. Hi, Vinks. It's me, Steven. You met in the cave near Duford. Have you met any kinds of Pokemon since I last saw you? There are many, many kinds of Pokemon in this wide world of ours. And yo, Ben Dominator, you're saying hey yo. How you doing, Ben? If you wanted to raise only your favorites, that's fine. Perhaps you find it more fun to raise all sorts of Pokemon. As a trainer of Pokemon, what do you think? Of course, it's not any of my business. It'd be nice if we were to meet again somewhere. Alright, you know, see you later, Steven. It was, it was nice. Yeah, I'm still on Route 118, yeah? Yeah, Route 19, 119's up there. Um... Yeah, looking at the Pokémon available... I think maybe Pelipper would be the best one? I mean... It'd give me a Flying-type Pokémon. Uh... Yeah, no, I... I don't know, I kinda want another Water-type. Not that I really need one, though. I have two Water-type Pokémon, actually. I don't know. I can't really control it anyways. can't control what Pokémon I get. But... I mean, the odds of getting a Wingle and evolving that into Pelipper are pretty high. Been Denominator saying went to GameStop and picked up a blue Snowball? Oh, you mean like, uh... The Microphone? I know there's a Microphone called, uh, Blue Snowball. 
Or was it just called Snowball? I don't know. Yeah, the mic? Oh, okay, okay, nice, nice. Yo, that's awesome, man. Hope that works out for you. Yo, Taylor, get out of here. <laughs> Yo, Legend's in here. How we doing, Legend? With the super cute Piplup emote. Yo, that emote is so adorable. Um, the Swallow... Hurts a bit, but... I don't think even if it quick attacked me again, we'd be in that much trouble, but... We want to hit him, so that works. Oh, level 28! Oh, Charm? Charms of Foe and sharply reduces its attack. I don't know, that's a little bit useful. But also, like, I don't know. I like having Spark, I like having Thunder Wave. The Encore literally saved my life. I don't know if I should get rid of Encore when it's potentially such a powerful move. Um, Quick Attack is just a way to damage people. Yeah, I'm not gonna learn Charm. And uh, Legend says, I believe he's referring to the Blue Yeti brand name microphone, their model that was named Snowball. Yeah, no, because it's like, there's two, there's two different microphones. You got the Blue Yeti, and then you have the Blue Snowball. Legend says, it's the only high-tech microphone I'm familiar with. Yeah, that's fair, man. I can get that. He, oh, he's not a trainer? Oh, he's just letting me know that he can't go through the grass. Um, if I go through the grass... The only Pokemon I can catch are Oddish and Tropius. Well, there's a very small chance of Kelseon, but if possible, I would like to not catch those. Yeah, I think it would be better to have the water type. Wait, let me let me look at the Hoenn League again. Yeah, Grass type would be bad for Winona for sure. Um, trying to look at the Hoenn League. Come on, man. Alright, so yeah, next up is Tate and Lisa. They're the gym leaders that, like, do a double battle. They use Psychic-type Pokémon, I believe? Yeah, let's look up their Emerald team. Oh, wow, their team's, uh, a bit more, uh, intense than I remember it being. Yeah, they got a Ground-type, a Flying-type, and two Rock-types. So yeah, Water would be pretty strong going in. They have two Sunny Days. So, like, learning Rain Dance would be pretty useful if I have any Pokemon that can do that. And then Juan is the, uh, Water-type Gym Leader. He has Water, Water Ground. Ah, he has a Kingdra! Ah! Ah, I have some, I have some pretty sad memories of getting bodied by a Kingdra, man. Ah, I don't want to get bodied by Kingdra again. It's a little scary. Yeah, I don't know if a grass type would be the answer. I mean, yeah, it would be useful against a couple of his Pokemon, but Cielo could body it, and Kingdra could body it. Because, yeah, the Kingdra knows Ice Beam. I mean, at least it doesn't know any Dragon type attack, so that's cool. The Sun, the Moon, Zatsu, and, uh. Yes, yeah, one of those psychic Pokemon, like Claydol or whatever. I heard about a cave called the Cave of Origin. People rumored that the spirits of Pokemon are revived there. Does something like that really happen? I mean, I don't see why not. You know, what's the Elite Four? Dark, Ghost, Ice, Dragon, and Steel and Water. And yeah, it's gonna be Water for this one. So, I mean, Water is not perfect or anything. But, eh, it gives me something to work with. It's better than Grass. There's only so many Pokemon choices here. Yeah, let's catch ourselves a Wingleman. Oh, Claydol? Yup! Oh, I wish I had a Fighting-type Pokémon. I also really wish, really wish I had an Ice-type, because, yeah, Drake uses a bunch of dragons. I, uh, I don't have any Pokémon that no Ice Beam. Wingle? Yeah, we're gonna catch a Wingle. It is the plan. Yeah, what should we name this guy? <laughs> you have a Fighting-type, Vinks, why do you forget me? That's just he only knows Mach Punch. Does he learn anything good anytime soon? Let's look him up. Rayloom, Ruby Sapphire. Did you just go on the ball, Wingle? Petroleus learns. Well, okay, okay. He learns Sky Uppercut at level 36. That'll be pretty good. 
Sky Uppercut is a very legit move. I mean, it's 90 accuracy, it's not 100%, but it's, uh, it's pretty nice. So yeah, maybe, maybe we'll be alright. Maybe we'll be okay. And this Ghost Elite Four person, what do I do for her? What are her Pokémon? Um... <laughs> okay, du two Dusclops, two Bandits, one Sableye. Yeah, there's no Fairy-type Pokémon. Alright, so wh what am I naming this guy? Uh, Legend says, No City remembers remembered Claydol before a stream delay caught up. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, no, fair enough. I assumed you just thought it when I said it. Petroy says, You have a fighting type? Oh, you already read that? Oh, uh, Gyarados gets Ice Fang in certain games, you think? But it would still be special? Yeah, it is. This special's so low. Sky Uppercut equals Shoryuken? Yo, it's pretty nice. Alright, we're gonna name this Wingle. Gonna name him... Uh... Perfect. <laughs> That'll be his name. Uh... I couldn't... I couldn't come up with anything. Yo, what up? Yes, I want to challenge you... Oh, I should've healed first. I should've healed first. I didn't think about that. But if he just has a bunch of magic harp, we'll probably be okay. Probably be okay. Alright, let's look up um our Wingle, I guess. See what he can learn. Did he just outspeed me? Did that magic harp outspeed me? Does he have uh Swift Swim? I mean even with Swift Swim, he's a magic harp. I find that very surprising. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I should stay in. Probably swap. Um... Yeah, you can get the job done, right? I believe in you, Water Snick. But yeah, I can learn Hydro Pump on uh, Gyarados, can't I? Pretty sure that's a thing. I mean, yeah, it's still special, but... Hydro Pump's a pretty strong move. And yo, Super Sin Slayer's in here saying, how's it going, Vinx? Ah, it's going all right. Oh, what kind of mic do I use? Yeah, I use the Blue Yeti. Not the Snowball. I've seen the Snowball. I think the Snowball is better than the Blue Yeti. So, very good choice, if you ask me. Not that the Yeti's, like, terrible or anything. It's, uh, really good for the price. But, um, I do want to upgrade my microphone. I plan on getting a better one. And, um, it's gonna be pretty expensive. So, like... I don't know, man. I'm not... I'm not really ready to buy that yet, but we'll get there. I was like, I was gonna buy it, but I ended up buying a UPS instead. It's a, uh, what's it called? What does the UPS stand for? I forget the initials. UPS is a uninterruptible power supply. It costed me, uh, $200, but it's, like, super high quality. Um, I don't remember how long the battery lasts, it's also like a surge protector, and it, um, essentially I have my computer and my monitors plugged into it, because, um, sometimes I have power fluctuations in my house. It's not very often, it's a pretty rare thing, but it does happen now and then. I guess I shouldn't say rare, I should say uncommon. It's, it's not rare, it's, it's more uncommon. But yeah, every now and then, like, the power in just the top of my house will like blink out for a second and then instantly turn back on. Which is fine for like my light, it's like, oh, it was dark for like half a second. But that's not good for my computer. My computer just instantly, you know, shuts down because it has no power going into it. So yeah, now we have the UPS. So if that ever happens again, like the stream won't die. <laughs> my stream won't die if only the top floor uh, fluctuates. If the whole house loses power for a moment, then my computer won't shut off, but uh, the stream would then die because I wouldn't have an internet connection. But, you know, work with what you got. <laughs> Feebas, how taunting? Yo, Feebas is pretty cool. <laughs> and Troy Scarfed Magikarp, I know, right? Uh, the Yeti is good? Yeah, I like the Yeti. I think the Yeti is really good. But, I mean, I've never used the Snowball myself, but I've seen other streamers using the Snowball, and I really like their sound quality. But again, to be fair, like, sound quality isn't purely just your microphone. It depends on, like, the room that you're broadcasting in. 
is like if you have a microphone in a room like I do where there's not a lot of stuff in it, you're gonna have a bit of a uh, echo. Like your voice is gonna reverberate off of the wall, uh, the walls. There's not a lot to really dampen that. I forgot to heal again. I keep forgetting to heal. Gosh darn it. Oh man. Uh, Ben Dominator saying, Hey Vinks, are you in the same room house you were in you were in, in the good old Mario Maker days, or did you move your desk or something? Um, this is definitely not the same house, this is a completely different house. But uh, yeah, no man, that was back in 2015. It was a, it was a nice house, I liked it quite a bit. And obviously I was in a much bigger room then, so there's even more of an echo than what I have now. So I like this room more, because it's uh, not as big. But I need to get stuff for the walls. Like, I know there are, like, these things that people sell, just these sound dampeners, but they're so expensive, and there's, like, cheaper ones you can get, but, like, you have to, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know how it all works. It's, like, a combination of, like, cardboard and cloth, and, yeah, and, uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Um, I'm finding a grass-type Pokémon? Alright, let's send in Tintibite. So my backdrop is different? Yep, yep. Completely different house. Yo, those were good times. Oh wait, that's right, it's a uh, grass poison type. I was only thinking about the grass typing. Yeah, it's grass poison, so... I mean, my poison's not gonna be, like, not effective, it'll just only be normal effective. Sleep powder. Of course! Of course sleep powder. Oh, uh, Tinsocker, for a second thought you found a wild Feebas, and, uh, and you have a snowball, and apparently you can never hear me on Discord, so... <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I don't I don't know about that. I mean, I don't know if that's like a Discord thing, or if that is your microphone, or if that's your settings, if that's my settings. But, um, yeah, I know a couple of people that use snowballs, and they their streams sound great, man. They sound really good. But, uh, yeah, no, nah, the next microphone I'm gonna buy which is a little bit away from now. But yeah, the next microphone I buy is like gonna be so much higher quality than either the Blue Yeti or the Snowball. It's gonna be, well, it, it should be higher quality. It's gonna cost me, you know, $200 more than what you would spend on those. A full restore, are you serious? A full restore, ugh. Get out of here, Gloom. Get out of here, man. Yo, why you gotta do all that? I mean, it can't do too much damage to me. I take neutral from grass. I'm resistant to poison. And this isn't gym leader AI, so... Yeah, they're gonna make bad choices. And the next Pokémon is... Ah, Rosalia. <laughs> Another grass poison type. Oh man, I'm a little worried, guys. I don't know... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat these dragon users. Um, okay, okay. So what's on Route 123? I could have gone there, but I did not. And now I'm paralyzed. Fancy that. But, um, let's see. Pokemon, Pokemon. We got Oddish, Gloom, Puccina, Zigzagoon, Wingle, Shoppit. Oh, I could have a Shoppit. That sounds pretty cool, actually. I might, I might try to find myself a Shoppit. The odds are... Pretty high, but I could also just run into an Oddish. Um, as far as water type goes, the Pokemon I can encounter I haven't already is Welmer. All right, so yeah, <laughs> not a lot of Pokemon to choose from. Uh, Ben says, "Yeah, Vinks, you saw my Pokemon Red stream, and my old mic is not good. I also don't know how to do audio mixing, apparently." Yeah, it's all good, man. Like, audio mixing is definitely one of the more complicated aspects when it comes to streaming. It just takes practice, man. You'll figure it all out as you go. Like, um... Personally, I use OBS Classic. I'm assuming you use OBS Studio, so it's probably different than how I do it. So I wouldn't be able to help you out outside of, uh, researching it. I am not an expert on OBS Studio. Um... Doomsday, though, I don't- he's not here right now, but he's in the stream sometimes. He uses, uh, OBS Studio, so if you have questions, 
you might be able to help. Alright, do I have any super potions still? <laughs> Yo, Inviso! With all the bits. Yo, let's go. Saying, uh, cheers for trading being confirmed to release this week in Pokemon Go, and another vote to Battle Kid. Hi, Rix. Yo, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, I saw that news on Twitter. I, uh, retweeted it. I was like, yep, there's gonna be a lot of people pretty excited for this, man. Pretty excited. But, yeah, thank you for the 100 bits, man. Uh, hmm. I'm good, right? Yeah, we're good. Oh, please don't have a bunch of Grass-type Pokémon again. Please. That would be nice. But yeah, no, I, I haven't heard too much about the trading. Apparently, like, there's a couple of, uh... What's it called? Caveats to it? Like, um, I believe the stats of the Pokémon don't trade. Like, it'll be the Pokémon, but it won't have the exact same stats. Someone was telling me about that. And then, um, there was something else. I don't remember. I really don't. Yeah, let's move in Water Snick. Yeah, Water Snick has the Intimidate, reduce the physical damage, not weak to Grass-type attacks, I'm resistant to fighting. Oh, Leech Seed, okay. IV's reroll? Yep, yep. Also, Stardust costs to trade Legendaries are insane. That makes sense, that makes sense. Yeah, they don't want people just throwing around, uh, you know, Moltres and whatnot. I've uh, been Dominator saying, oh, by the way, I'm going to release a trailer of my Pokemon game in about a week, along with screenshots. Nice, dude! That sounds super cool. I hope that, uh, yeah, I hope your trailer come, uh, happens to work out super duper well. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see it, man. I love me some Pokemon. Show me what you got. <laughs> and business say, Vegas, don't forget my vote, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me put that in. Oh, yeah. Battle Kid, man, has been moving on up, huh? Yeah, it's at 24 right now. We're gonna move that up to 25. That's slowly but surely making its way up, man. Remember when Battle Kid was, like, all the way down at the bottom? Now it's up here with the big boys. It's the big boys. Yo, my goodness, this Breloom. Doing, uh, doing a lot more than I thought I was going to be able to. Let's send out my Breloom. You have another vote by the end of the week? Alright, alright, sounds good, man. I can dig that. Oh, these headbutts. Uh, the Dominator saying, alright, then it's about time I depart, but I may be back near the end of the stream. Yo, do what you gotta do, Ben. I appreciate, you know, you coming in here, giving me the view. Good stuff. Uh, Invisor says, and remember I got all those votes from the Lich Day where you got hundreds of free bits? Hey, man, we take those. Take those every single time, man. That's so cool. Yeah, no, nah, I've been watching uh, ads for bits again recently. I'm trying to save up some bits. There's something I want to do. But, uh, yeah, no. Nah, I only have, like, 290 something bits right now. I need a lot more bits. I need a lot of bits, but we'll we'll get there. Slowly but surely, it shall happen. Now uh, controller says Vinks, you should change the time on the completed games to how long it actually took you. That is a good idea. I did not think about that. Yeah, I mean we still have all the games, so like I have everything either recorded on my computer or it's uploaded on, um, what's it called? On, uh, YouTube. I can look everything up. Alright, I definitely need to heal. But I do not have a lot of potions. Yeah, we should, we should come back. Yeah, do I have a repel? I should have a couple of repels. Somewhere. There it is. No, let's not move forward. I did not bring enough potions with me to, like, you this area. Yeah, I'm just taking so much damage. Yeah, y'all don't heal me, right? Hello. Heard about- oh yeah, she just tells me about this dumb cave. Yeah, because I know there's a house, um, somewhere else, and they heal you. 
Philly says, um, full of good ideas. <laughs> you know, sometimes we are full of good ideas. In the Legend St. Banks, I think your bad luck is starting to rub off on me. I just lost the attraction coin flip six times in a row. Oh man, that is that is pretty bad, dude. I feel for ya. Yeah, man. Sometimes you're just gonna have all the bad luck. It is what it is. Go super repel. Right, none of the trainers decided to destroy me. Very nice of them. Oh, citrus berries! Let's go, dude! Oh my goodness, I've been hoping to get citrus berries for the longest time, but I didn't know where they were. Oh, these are gonna be so useful in the gyms, because they heal 30 HP, dude. This is the 10 HP of the dumb orange berries, man. We've been overleveled past that for a long time. Alright, so I need to heal and I need to buy super potions. That is the plan. And there goes the effect of repel. Oh, he's just hanging out here now. There's an event you do with him? I don't remember how important that is. What do you get from doing that event with the gym leader? Because I don't really want to do it right now. Um, super potion. Let me just buy like 20 of those, man. And how are we doing on, uh... Yeah, we have plenty of antidotes. Use a few more paralyzed heals. What does he want? Talk with him? He wants me to go to like, this warehouse on an island. And like, like some switches or something. Oh, Watson gives you Thunderbolt? Oh, okay, yeah, no, I, I do want Thunderbolt. I don't know if Minion learns it, but I think it would be a good idea to have TM Thunderbolt. That's, uh, especially, we're about to go to, uh, Fortree City. Yeah, let me check Min uh, Minion, or whatever it is. Yeah, Minion RS. Does it learn Thunderbolt naturally? It learns Thunder. It doesn't learn Thunderbolt, and Thunder's not till 37. So yeah, I should probably go do that. Okay, so we're all good. Yeah, I bought potions, everybody's looking nice. Oh, thanks! You look like you have a lot of zip. That's a good thing, ha 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 ha. Fine, I've decided. I need a favor, Banks. Mallville City has an underground sector called New Mallville. Banks, I'd like you to go there and switch off the generator. The generator's been running a bit haywire, it's getting unsafe. Here, this is the key to getting a new Mallville. Obtain the basement key. Don't you worry about it. It won't be a challenge to you. The entrance to New Mallville is just a short surf away from Route 110. That's it, then. You have my trust. Alright, here we go. Wait, I can go down here? Is there like an invisible item or something? There's gotta be something here. Why... Why is this a thing? Hmm. Isn't there like an item finder? Do I have that? Yeah, there it is. No response. Interesting. Why would they open up the fence and there's nothing there? Very curious. You can catch a new Pokemon there? Oh, a new Mallville? Yeah, yeah, we could do that. I wonder what we can catch a new Mallville. Also, where's it at? You think it has wild Pokemon, but you're not sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has wild Pokemon. I assume they're like Voltorbs and Magnemites? I wouldn't mind picking one of those up. I'm sure they would have uh, higher stats than Minion does. Alright, yeah, everybody's good. Here we go. Who is luck to use the basement key? Yes. What kind of Pokemon would hang out around the overactive generator? Um, probably a Pikachu. And the answer is... The <laughs> Voltorb. Yeah, no, I would like that Voltorb. He doesn't have self-destruct at this level, does he? Let me look up Voltorb real quick. Voltorb. Gosh darn, my down button not working in Google Chrome for some reason. It just stopped working. I don't I don't know why. Anyways, um... No, it doesn't learn self-destruct till level 27. And it learns... Oh, it doesn't actually learn Thunderbolt or Thunder. What? It doesn't learn Thunderbolt. 
Or a Thunder. Really? What about Electrode? No? <laughs> what? I could have sworn. Alright, alright. Let me just look at the stats. Yeah, it has what? Yeah, let me just look at um base stats all together. Base stat total is 490. Minions base stat total is... Because, yeah, 490 is not super high. Yeah, but 405 is minions. Let's see, let's compare the stats. It's like, they have the same HP, they have uh, almost the same attack. Uh, Electrode has much higher defenses, S only slightly higher special attack. It actually has less special defense, but it has way more speed. I mean, the speed's cool and all, but I don't know if it's worth leveling over Minion, especially when it doesn't look like it has as much utility as, uh, old boy has. Legend says, It took me a couple seconds too long to realize why you wanted to look at Voltorb learning self-destruct. <laughs> yeah, no, man, I'm like, if I try to catch this Pokemon and it explodes in my face, <laughs> that would be, uh, not good. Like, I don't want him to kill me, I also would prefer to at least throw the initial Pokeball and have a chance to catch him. But, uh, now we're good. No self-destructs. Could always use him as a bomb. I mean, technically, this is true. He could be a sacrificial Pokemon I throw into somebody. Like, if there's some problem thing that I'm, like, super worried about, I can level up to Electrode, get the explosion. Explosion's a really powerful attack. It is kind of ridiculous. My nickname, the Voltorb? Uh... Voltorb's not a super trash electric type. I could have sworn he was better than this, but I guess not. Um, well, there's really only one thing you can name a Voltorb. <laughs> there we go. The bomb ball, the boom. Those are good names too. The bomb. Yeah, no. Nah, I'm pretty sure I caught a Voltorb. Uh, in gold, and I did name him the bomb. <laughs> Legend was like, my initial thoughts were, this is Nuzlocke. self destruct is so bad. <laughs> and then my brain turned back on. <laughs> yeah, it's all good, man. Yeah, like, that's, that's the struggles of doing the Nuzlocke. There's so much information you're gonna have in your mind, and some of it conflicts. You have to be careful about that. <laughs> Trolley says, why do you hate my ideas, mates? I don't hate it, I just think it's really funny to have the Jigglypuff, um, you know, thing going on. Oh, oops. I shouldn't have hit that button. I wasn't sure, I saw a button, and I was like, well, <laughs> I'm a man that presses buttons, and I pressed the button. I wasn't supposed to do that, though. But we'll be okay. Oh, I would have loved to have caught the Magnemite. How much better would Magnemite have been? Let me look that up. Magnemites, where is buddy Magnemites? Um, I am looking in the wrong section for Magnemite. Oh, don't attack the Voltorb. Leave me alone. Hit the button. Magnemite, Magnemite. There he is. Good old Magnemite. He has, uh... No, wait, this is a different generation. Um... Yeah, let me just look at his evolution. Gosh darn it. Do I need that item? Yeah, this is generation 7. Yeah, I just want to see Magneton's base stat total. Oh wow, there's Magneton's in here. Can I run away from him or like... No, we're good. Yeah, he's 465. But um, his special attack is the high one. That's what I wanted. Yeah, no man. A Magnemite would have been so much better. We would have wrecked people with the Magneton. Would it have learned any good moves, though? Let's see. <laughs> no! I can't believe- are there any Electric-type Pokémon that learn Thunderbolt? The strongest Electric-type attack he learns is Zap Cannon, which is only 50% accurate. And then before that is Spark, which we already have Spark on Minion. Uh, Controller says, so what I'm hearing is never put Banks in front of a self-destruct button. <laughs> yep. 
controller says, nope, <laughs> most electric types don't learn Thunderbolt. I didn't realize that was the case! Uh-oh. It was a team in the first game. Most Pokemon don't learn them. You think Pikachu's the only one? I didn't realize. Like, that's just so weird to me. Because, like, there's so many water-type Pokemon that learn, like, Hydro Pump. So, and, like, there's plenty of fire-types that learn Flamethrower. I just figured, you know, most electric types learn Thunderbolt. But neither Voltorb or uh, Magnemite learn Thunderbolt. It's just not a thing. It's crazy. I keep forgetting that. The further back in generations you go, the worse the Pokemon, uh, their movesets are. Yeah, let's see. If we look at him in Gen 7, let's see. He learns... Alright, he still doesn't learn Thunderbolt, but he does get Discharge, which is like 80 base power. And also has a chance to paralyze. Oh, and he learns Electro Ball, so like, there's so much more utility going on. Um... I could have gone through the door to the left. I don't know what's over there. I don't know what's through the door to the left, but I feel like I'm supposed to go to the right. Charlie says, Pika was also one of the few electric Pokemon that learns an electric move in the first game. <laughs> yeah, that's just crazy, man. Boggles the mind. Oh, an Ultra Ball. Nice, I'll take that. <sighs> All these electric saves, man. I mean, I guess they're like decent XP, but I don't really want to bother with them. Oh, you know, I have a repel. If I'm really that bothered, let's just use the repel. Legend says, really? Nidoking learns Thunderbolt through TM, but very few electric Pokemon can learn it naturally. <laughs> That's a little dumb. Yeah, I do also think it's a little silly. Wait, what? It took me all the way back here? Gosh darn it. I thought this was the right way. This is the opposite of the right way. Man. Oh, wait, oops, the other one. Pretty sure I have a super repel around here somewhere as well. Uh, there it is. You took the exit, silly Vinks. I mean, just the way the dungeon was designed, like from the, what I could see, it looked like the left side was going to be like some optional thing, and the right side was going to be where I was supposed to go to like fix the problem. That was not the case. The right side was just a shortcut back to the uh, beginning. It was what I know. Yeah, now I play too many like old school RPGs. Yeah, the old RPGs would have been like that. Oh, okay, so it has to be the blue one. Yeah, okay. And then it had to be the green one. I think this is where I get the Master Ball? Is it? I'll look around a bit more carefully then. So it's like, yeah, if I miss out on the item, not nah, big deal. But if that item's a Master Ball... Oh yeah, the Reggies are in this game, right? Reggie Ice, Reggie Rock, and um... What is it, Reggie Steel? Yo, should I use a Reggie? I've never used a Reggie before. I think that would be kind of cool. Like, they're not as OP as like... Uh, what's its face? Like Rayquaza. The nerd appears to have stopped. Okay, I guess we're good. Let's go ahead and escape rope out of here. I'll need to walk all the way back out. Waste of time! Yeah, I didn't see the Master Ball in here. Didn't see it. Yeah, I think the Devon Corporation gives it to you. I think that's where you get it. Uh, controller says I'm fairly certain the master- oh, okay, I already read that. Uh, Legend saying if I'm right, it will be in a cluster of four items. I didn't see a cluster of four items. I didn't see anything like that. Alright, should I buy some repels? Yeah, I should buy some repels. That's a good idea. I have plenty of money. Wait, where's the repels at? Do you not sell any repels? Ah, your store is garbage, lady! You know what you're thinking of? <laughs> Never mind you. Oh yeah, that's right. The Master Ball is in, um... 
the Team Magma and Aqua Hideout. That's where it is. I remember. Because, uh, yeah, no, my sister Gypsy, she was playing the game at the same time I was. We were playing it together. And she um, didn't grab the Master Ball. And she was like, eh, I'll grab it later. But if you go far enough in the game, you actually can't go back inside of the hideout and you can't get the Master Ball anymore. Talk to the old dude? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to do that, aren't I? Wait, there's a Pokemon in here, right? How many they sell repels? If that's the one? <laughs> yeah, I, I remember. I remember. There it is. Oh wow. Um, I'll just buy like... Nah, I'm not gonna need that many. Let's go 15. The 15 will do it. While I'm here, let me sell some items I'm not gonna use. Um, the ethers could end up being useful at the Elite Four. Um, Dire Hit I will never use. Um, X Speed I will never use. X Attack I will never use. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, the Nugget. Let's sell that. That is just money. And then... Oh, we have Zinc. I should use that on somebody. Yeah, we're good. We are good. Thank you for the business. Wait, how do I... Legend, do you know how to re-challenge people? It's like, I know you can. I just don't remember how. Do I just... Oh, oh okay, never mind. <laughs> I was like, can I just, like, go back to someone and talk to them? Because I remember in, uh... What was it? Pokemon Fire Red, you would just hold up the Versus Seeker and they would jump up and down and be like, I want to fight you! Oh wow, they're uh, level 28 and level 30. Jeez. Jeez. That's crazy. Um, well... The Makuhita is the one I'm the most worried about. I'm gonna go ahead and paralyze him. And I think I'll go for the tackle, I guess, on... Zagoon? When does Gyarados learn, like, a good attack? Gyarados RS. Uh oh, I've been identified! And the Makuhita is paralyzed, perfect. Alright, so we'll spark the Makuhita, finish off the Zigzagoon. Let's see, I learn. I was supposed to learn Thrash. It says you get Thrash for being a Gyarados, but like, I don't have Thrash. And not get that on level up. It's weird. I guess I need to use the uh, Heart Scale to get Thrash. Um, I learned Twister at 35 and Hydro Pump at 40, so no, he doesn't learn anything. Um, can I get a Heart Scale soon? Because having Thrash would be pretty useful. Pretty nice. I mean, we'll get to Lily Cove eventually. That'll also be good. Oh man, <laughs> I wasn't expecting level 30s. I mean, we could take them, but that was a little scary. A little bit. I mean, I guess while I'm here, I should beat up some of these people. Get the XP, right? Oh, he doesn't want to fight. Ah. Oh. I just happened to talk to the one person that wanted a rematch. Oh, okay, there we go. She wants to fight. Yo, give me that XP, would you? Yeah, she has six Pokemon. Yeah, these are in the 20s. Yeah, that's how she's supposed to be balanced out. She has a bunch of Pokemon, so they're not quite as high level. It's a shame that, uh, <laughs> these are water types. Go oh, level 29. Yeah, I was gonna drop Minion, man, but not for a Voltorb. Not for a Voltorb. I could have sworn Electroid stats were so good, but they're really not. Like, the only thing he really has going for him is his ridiculous speed, which is really, really high. 
Um, I'll just do the quick attack. How do you know damage? That Pokemon is seven levels my junior, and looking at that damage ideal, he does not have to call me Senpai. Uh, hmm. Um, how do I want to beat him? Acid. Yep, yep, that'll do it. Super effective damage, really strong Pokémon. Get out of here, Shroomish. Easy peasy. Rosalia? Yeah, that's uh, Grass Poison, so we'll deal with neutral damage. Should I have Supersonics? Nah, that's overkill. Uh, Legend says your perception of Electrode was probably tainted by the whole fastest Pokemon everything. Yeah, yeah. I always thought he had really high stats, but I guess that's just because of the speed. Cause like, there's been many, many times back in my like VGC days where I'd be trying to like figure out what Pokemon I want to use and how fast, like how much effort values I need to put in a Ludicolo for him to outspeed certain threats. And the many, many times I've looked at that list of the, you know, really high up Pokemon, Electrode's up there. He's one of the fastest Pokemon, man. Like him, uh, Ninjask, uh, Jolteon's up there, I think? Or maybe Jolteon's just special attack. Yeah, it's hard to remember them all. Because, like, there's so many legendaries, and I have to, like, sort those out, because most of those aren't used in VGC. Well, I say most of them, I mean, like, Deoxys, right? That's his name, right? Deoxys? Yeah, Deoxys isn't really used in VGC. I don't think he's ever been legal. Because I know we had, like, legendaries that were legal for, um... Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I don't think he was legal in that. Ox the old guy? Oh yeah, I forgot! I went to buy the repels and I got very distracted doing a bunch of things. Whoopsie doopsies! I'll be right back. Oh, Cracker's saying, did I call the Marsh Stomps death? <laughs> Lol. Oh, but you didn't lose the Flannery. <laughs> nice, nice. Yep, yep. We did not die to uh, Flannery, but we did um, lose our... Yeah, we lost Marsh Stomp to... Uh, he didn't make it to Flannery. We were fighting against Team Magma and their leader, uh, Max something I think his name is. He used a camera up to use Magnitude 9 and the Magnitude 9 crit. And yeah, we went from full HP to zero. It was too much, man. It was way too much damage. But yeah, we got, we got the Thunderbolt, guys. No worries. No worries. Alright, so what are the Pokemon we can try to catch in these other routes, man? What are they? Um... Is this the right one? Yeah, Route 123. Uh... Oh yeah, the Shop It. The Shop It. Um, that would be kind of cool. I wouldn't mind having a Shop It, I guess. It's a ghost? It's all spooky and everything. Yeah, what item is that? Oh, Maxwell. That's his name. That sounds about right. I knew it was Max something, but it wasn't just Max. <laughs> Call the Team Magma Leader Coffee? Yo. He has a name. I'm willing to use it. I just didn't know what it was. Oh no, guys! He's reduced the power of electricity! What will I ever do? How? What? You won anyways? It was the power of our friendship that carried us to victory, Minion. Good job. Um, shup it, shup it, shup it. Cause yeah, you evolve into Bannet. Is Bannet good? How does it evolve? Is it just level up? Yeah, it looks like it's just level up. I've never used a Bannet before. Let me look it up. Maxi's ability is Moxie. <laughs> Yo, Moxie is a good ability to have. Um, yeah, it's pure ghost, no shenanigans. 
Um, it can learn Nightshade, Curse, Spite, Will-O-Wisp. Will-O-Wisp is a good move. Will-O-Wisp is a really good move. Uh, Faint Attack, Shadow Ball. Snatch and Grudge. Yeah, Grudge isn't a move I would want to use ever. Snatch isn't that useful. So, like, its best move is Shadow Ball. And Ghosts are weird, because, like... In Generation 3, Ghost Attacks are physical. He has 115 attack? 115? Wow! Are you serious? That's so fast! Or, not fast, so strong. I was looking at his speed when I said fast. Uh, cause yeah, he's actually pretty... Not very fast. He has 65 speed. But, oh my goodness, that stat, that's so strong, dude. That's so strong. Um, what about Duskull? Cause I can't catch the Duskull there, but, like... If I were to use a bandit into a Duskull or Dusknoir or whatever, how would that go for me? Yeah, Dusknoir. Check him out. What's his speed? His speed's 25! That's right, he's a Trick Room Pokémon. His defenses are so high. Oh, man. I don't know. He has more defense than a uh, bandit has attack. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, hey, a good use for Mudsport? Eh. 115 out muscles, Nitto King. Yeah, Bandit's real, real bulky, huh? Interesting, interesting. <laughs> then it crit? Yo, sometimes you crit. Is what it is. But yeah, there's also a chance we'll just get Oddish instead. I'm hoping we don't get the Oddish. I really, really, really want the Bandit. What's, what's going on over here? You may call me the Berry Master. I dream of filling the world with beautiful flowers. So I raise berries and hand them out to everyone. You're deserving of one. Obtain the tomato berry. Why be stingy? Take another! The Kelpsy Berry. Be sure to visit the pretty petal flower shop near Rustboro. Let flowers fill the world! Okay. The way my husband grows berries. Oh, he's the best in the world. He makes me proud that he does. Incidentally, child, have you heard a good saying lately? Uh, yep. Uh, the really good saying is, um, is absolutely, uh, absolutely, um, no, that's not gonna work. Uh, absolutely, uh, uh, um, no, none of that. Absolutely excites. No, absolutely funny. Absolutely go home. No, that's rude. Let me not do all that. Why is that in the feelings category? Why is go home a feeling? Absolutely happiness. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that one. Uh, absolutely romantic. Satisfied. Absolutely terrible. No, not that one! Uh, not a lot, not a lot to work with. Let's, let's, let's do fantastic. That was a thing, right? Is that a feeling? Is fantastic a feeling? Not a feeling. Uh, does it exist? Uh, oh, I can do it by letters. Oh, absolutely fabulous! Perfect! Oh, a good saying it is. You're quite remarkable. I want you to have this. Ah, Prismberry. Nice. Our four grandchildren should become more accomplished than my husband. Noi never goes out of my life. That's good. <laughs> oh well. I almost chose it, but then I saw a better choice. Which berries are these? Callout berries? Those are stat affecting berries, aren't they? What are these? Repa berries? I think that reduces super effective damage, maybe? Pomeg berries. I don't remember what Pomeg berries are. I don't remember. Let's take a look. Um. Yeah, Prism. Oh, Prism's Confusion. Nice, nice. Um. Pomeg lowers HP. Helps he lowers attack. Fallout's defense, Grep is special defense, 
Yeah, I remember tomato bean speed. I've had to use that quite a few times. But I don't really think I need these. I mean, I could always adjust my stats around if I really, really wanted to. Mm. I think I'll leave the rest of them here. Ah, jeez. She wants to fight. They say the good times are filled with good aromas. Are they? I don't know, man. I've had some good times, and the aromas were not exactly what I would call refreshing. All right, Rosalia. How are we going to body Rosalia? Um, do that. Or I could do this. I'm filling water, Snick. Um, again, the next gym leader is a flying type, so I want to level up my minion for its electric type attacks to do what needs to be done, but more than just that needs to happen. Let's see, get rid of all these guys. Alright, Winona, normal flying, body with minion, grass flying. Where is the ice, man? I don't have any ice like abilities, I don't have any Pokemon that use ice attacks. It's tough, man, it's tough. I don't even have fire either. I used to have fire, but we ran out of fire type Pokemon in the great, great battle with Mr. Norman. Um, hmm. I, I have the slightest clue. Hmm. What am I gonna do? Ah, this is annoying. Very, very annoying. Like, where is where is all the ice type Pokemon, man? I need ice types. See, where am I right now? I'm on Route 123. That takes me to Route 122. Well, no, I can't. I don't think I can go there. But yeah, I can. I can do that. If I go to Route 122, I can catch... Um, I could catch Whelmer. I don't think Whelmer learns any ice type attacks. Let me double check, though. It learns Mist. Technically, that is ice type. But Mist is not gonna help me beat the gym. Oh, man. Come on. Is there any good Pokemon anywhere? Feels like there's no good Pokemon. Um, let's just do this one step at a time, Binks. One step at a time. That's Paralyze Heal. Here you go, buddy. There's a Super Potion around here somewhere. There it is. Uh, Controller says, just to let you know, Banks, I'm about to body you in the Pokemon Tower. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see about that. Yo, good luck. Don't get bodied, man. Some sand attacks are OP. Huh. I can't go this way. <laughs> it's a dead end? It's a dead end. Okay. We're not meant to go this way. That's fine, that's fine. But, it says I can catch... It says I can catch Bandit over there. How is that possible? I don't understand. Yeah, that was what? Route 123? We're not Bandit, but Shuppet? But there's no grass. Troy says, you don't cheat with sand attacks. You cheat with multiple healing items because you are in desperate need of healing while getting super bodied. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens, man. This Vinx doesn't use any healing items in battles. No, sir. Where Pokemon go low, they go low. It is what it is. Alright. We'll just do what we can do, I guess. I've already caught a Pokemon here, so... I don't have to worry about that too much. I can't even run through the grass? Really? Why, hello, Oddish! We totally didn't, like, avoid you on purpose or anything. That'd be rude. I wouldn't do that. Disrespectful. Okay, 
it's about to listen. Squeeze on through here, don't mind me. Come on, guy. Ooh. Are those more citrus berries by chance? Because we, we, uh, stop for citrus berries. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do that. Yo, good trade. Oh, leopard berries. Leopard berries are beautiful. I think that's citrus on the left and leopard on the right. You are correct, sir. You are correct. You know your berries. Yeah, no, man. As soon as I saw those citrus berries, I knew I had to go pick those up. I had to. I don't want to fight a Lanoon. Cracker's saying I love this route. Yeah, this route's pretty cool. It's uh, very big. You know, there's some bike action going on. Tall grass. Pokemon Rangers to fight. Pretty, pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Guys, bring it on, buddy. What you got? Show me your powers. Oh, uh, <laughs> I mean Lady. Lady Rachel. Parasol Lady Rachel. Excuse me. I couldn't see anything but the person's hair, and I just assumed they were male. Like, I didn't know. I couldn't see her spray. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops! That's not fair. Hey man, I, er, lady, I decided to use an electric type Pokemon as, you know, my front Pokemon. You decided to use a water type Pokemon. It's just what happened. Oh, is that a flying type Pokemon? Oh no. Oh no, Swallow. Oh no! Swello, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Thanks, talks of the Pokemon in PCs as if it's Twitch chat. Yo, man, I have my fun. We lacked potential. I mean, Swallow's only so good. Oh, you're kind of right. Swallow's not well known for being a very powerful Pokemon. Right. I'm feeling not comfortable not being at full HP, so we're gonna heal. We're going to use our bike powers! We get up here. The vast sky holds untold promise. Nothing can compare to the sheer exhilaration of flight. I mean... I guess. I've been on a plane before, like, it's kinda cool. Like... That's also kind of creepy. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. KK, the Gyarados is going to carry your team? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm really worried about fighting Winona. Because, like, her Pokemon are so beefy, dude. Like, she's got this, uh... Alright, alright, let's see right here. Because we have a level 30 Minion. This Tropius is level 29, the one that uh, Winona has. So... At max level, if we take Minion to 33, we would have a 4 level advantage. This is a 5 level advantage. Let's see what our Spark can do in this situation. Not a lot of damage. That's Razor Leaf, which has a high crit chance. Not doing that much damage. Herpes is not weak to electric? Yeah, because it's Grass Flying. So, again, that's why I was, like, a little bit worried about this. Because, yeah, like, the Swablu, the Swablu will be no problem. Uh, like, I really wish that people, like, understood that I understand, because Controlius is doing this failfish, like, grass resists electric things. Of course it does! How many times do I have, like, can you... <sighs> calm down, Vix, calm down. <sighs> okay, so when I refer to a grass flying type Pokemon and say, I'm worried about this, and I'm worried about this Pokemon while referring to my minion, which is an electric type Pokemon. Where do you think the worry is coming from? Why do I think, or why do you think that I'm worried about Tropius being a problem? Could it A be because, man, I'm gonna body this Tropius so hard? Or could it be B, grass, resist electric, it's not gonna deal super effective damage? The troll says, sorry, didn't mean to trigger you. I was just trying to mess with you. Okay, okay. Yeah, I get I get a little bit triggered 
when uh, I assume people are saying that I don't know what I'm talking about. That does trigger me, especially if I'm in the middle of explaining. I was talking to, uh, back in the, uh, uh like, actually that was today. Because he was saying one of his pet peeves on Twitch is when, um, people talk about trivia. Because apparently it's usually something he can't really join in on conversation for. So I understand that. I mean, it's just a pet peeve. Everyone has their personal pet peeves. And my pet peeve is when people explain something to me that I have just explained. Like, it's, it's, oh man, it gets me every time. Cause like, that happened the other day. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I was explaining something, and then someone else, after I finished explaining it, then explained the same thing to me. Cause, and it's like, I, I get it. I just explained how it worked. And then someone else in chat apparently didn't see them say that. So then they also explained to me the same thing. And it's like, <sighs> <laughs> None of you are paying attention! Uh, let's see, charge? Do I want charge? It trolley says in my defense, I had typed it before the stream lag caught up. Yeah, that's that's fine, man, no worries. Uh, charge is... Like, kinda cool, but I, I could just hit with spark twice instead of using charge. I think that would be better. Um... Crackers will say, and I'll go with C, because that's the answer you go to if you don't know the answer to the multiple choice. This is true. Ugh, Coughing. Does it know self-destruct at level 25? I don't know if Coughing knows that. Yo, Inflatable Thor, he says, oh, I thought you meant someone doing that in person. It makes way more sense for it happening in Twitch chat. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, man. Because, yeah, no, I was, I was replying to Glackham and he was talking about Twitch chat. <laughs> but yo, how are you doing, Inflatable Thor? I haven't seen you in a minute. Oh, no, nah, I gotta look this up. I don't want to die to the coughing. It's like, I can switch into Gyarados for Intimidate if I need to do that. Because, uh, Self-Destruct is a physical attack. Um, Self-Destruct is 17, so yes. He could Self-Destruct. I'm not gonna chance it. We're gonna reduce his attack power. And maybe knock him out with, uh, Gyarados? We'll see. Depends on what he wants to do. Now Cracker says, yeah, if you guys didn't catch it, Vinks doesn't like it when people in chat explain what he just said. <laughs> I mean, obviously context matters. Some things can be pretty funny. <laughs> Paying attention? What is Vinks talking about? Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. I mean, I know I personally don't pay attention to things a lot of the time, so it can be pretty hypocritical. But, um, I mean, like, for me, I'm not paying attention to, like, the game I'm playing, or maybe I miss some things that Chatter say. Because, you know, it's a juggle, man. I'm, I'm doing multiple things at the same time. But, uh, like, if someone's watching the stream, you know, then I'm like, I assume that they're, like, hearing what I'm talking about. So it triggers me a little bit when, like, they're saying something. It's like, okay, clearly they weren't listening. And like, it double triggers me, because I said that, I said that in my Twitter post. And it was like, bonus points if someone's already explained it in chat, and then they explain it again. Like, oh my goodness. It just, it really gets me, man. Uh, Inflatable Thor says, hey, I was wondering if you're using a certain program to enforce the Nuzlocke rules, or if you're doing that yourself. Yeah, no outside programming or anything, I'm just... Yeah, if I, for the no potions in battle, I just have to physically not use potions to not be over leveled for gym leaders. I have to, you know, watch my experience. Like, I always check the gym leader. Like, the next gym leader right now is Winona. Her strongest Pokemon's Altaria at level 33. So I'm just keeping that in mind. I'm like, make sure I don't go above level 33. And uh, Invisible Saint Encore, what a fun move, honestly. And Vanks Blue is almost out of Spark PP. This is true. But, uh... <laughs> work up... And there it goes. But yeah, it's it's all good. We did what needed to be done. Because, yeah, I want to level him up, because, like, he's going to be really, really useful against Swablu and Pelipper. But... Maybe Skarmory? Yeah, let me, let me look up Skarmory's special defense. Ah, is that a new Mel? Yeah, don't, don't do all that. Let's see, Skarmory, Skarmory. Um...
Uh, no, his special defense is only 70. His defense is 140. Oh my goodness, that's crazy, dude. 140 physical defense. But yeah, we'll be, we'll be sparking him up, so it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Trolley says, dude, the number of times I've been playing a game while watching the stream and only half paying attention and try to respond in, uh, to something in chat without having heard anything prior to it. I may have triggered more than one streamer that way, though I never mean to. Yeah, nah, it's all good, man. Because, like, I get it. Like, personally, when I watch Twitch, I'm multitasking myself. It's just, like, it is... It's funny, right? Because, like, a lot of the times people are listening, but they might not be looking. So, like, you might read something. I've done this before. I've read something that someone has said, and it wasn't what I personally thought. It was just I was reading chat. But, again, the person wasn't paying attention. And, or people weren't paying attention, and I had like five or six people all try to correct me, and it's like, well, I, I already know that. I was reading what so-and-so said, but none of them were paying attention. It is what it is, man. That's that's just, that's the level of Twitch. Inflatable Thor saying, oh, okay, so no levels higher than each gym leader? Exactly. So yeah, uh, 33 is as high as we'll go currently. And so we get to the next gym leader. And yo, Magic Enforcer's in here. How you doing, Magic Enforcer? Nice to see you. We're uh, we're doing pretty good in the Nuzlocke so far. Um, nothing crazy's happened uh, today. We've just kind of been going down the routes. We went to Old Mallville. We caught ourselves a Voltorb. Voltorb was nice. Um, we've also caught a Wingle. Um, I don't know if I'll use either of those Pokemon. Cause like we already have an Electric type that's plenty good. Um, we have two water types already on the team. I don't really think we need a third water type. But, um, I am really, really, really worried about the, uh, upcoming gym leader. I, I don't know if I can, uh, beat her. Like, I mean, no, I, th I think I can. I think I can beat her. I just think it's gonna be a little difficult is all. Because it's like... She's got so... like, she's got three Pokémon that all resists... or no, not three, she has two Pokémon that resist Electric-type attacks. So Minion's really only super useful on uh, Swablu, Pelper, and Skarmory. But yeah, the Tropius and Altaria, they're uh, a little bit of a problem. The Magic Enforcer saying, good man, back from New York, just got off your first day of work. Yo, that's awesome! How are you liking it? That sounds super cool. Super duper cool. Um. Yeah, again, we're doing really good on levels. What do you have, Radita? Great ball? Yeah, I haven't been leveling up this Viper at all. Um. I don't know if I want to use it. I should level up another Pokemon for the gym leader, though. I just haven't decided on who that should be. Because, yeah, we caught, uh. We caught the, um. Voltorb. I could, I could level up the Voltorb. I could do that. Like, I don't think the Voltorb's, like, super good or anything, but... I don't know, maybe... Maybe it'd be useful. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. If I'm gonna teach Thunderbolt to one of my Pokémon, it's gonna be Minion, though. I don't want to give it to Voltorb, who will probably evolve into Electrode. Yeah, we're level 32 now, so that's nice. I should probably share the love. I don't want him to take all the XP. Alright, yeah, Voltorb evolves at level 30, so that's fine. Um, I mean, it learns Spark. Spark's what I'm using right now. I could have two electric Pokemon. So, you know, worst case scenario, if something goes bad, I could use Self-Destruct. Like, if the Pokémon's gonna go down anyways. Actually, yeah, I think that's a really good plan. I think that's a really good plan. Let's let's get Voltorb Bell. Double electric type, let's do it. You already wanna go back to vacation? Yeah, nah, I know that life, Magic Enforcer. Perfectly understandable. Now, Legend Saint the Viper is not a bad Pokémon. 100 attack, special attack, learns Crunch, Poison Fang, and Swagger. Yeah, those are actually pretty decent stats. Um... Hmm, maybe, maybe. Alright, um, with that being the case... Yeah, it wouldn't be useful... It, I don't think it'll be super useful here. I don't think it'll be super useful on the next gym leader. It'll actually, yeah, it'd be really weak. Um, the sixth gym leader is water type. 
Uh, it can get some good hits in. It's just a strong Pokemon. Um, and then what, what were the Elite Four? Dark type, Ghost type, Ice type, Dragon. It's just not super useful overall, but maybe. Yeah, I definitely want to level up Voltorb. Yeah, we don't need the Zigzagoon. Yeah, it gives me items, but it's not that big a deal. Alright, so yeah, he's level 23 at the moment. Let's go ahead and throw an experience share on this boy. Experience share! Thank you. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to check summary. And then... Where are we leveling right now? Water Snake, I guess? Yeah, I'm... Uh, I don't know. I'm really worried about the Elite Four. Like, that's gonna be a problem, man. I mean, Catrolius might be able to wreck the Dark-type user. Maybe, you know, I'm being a little too worried on that part. If we can catch the Shuppet, I think our Shuppet, like, if we just give it a little bit of uh, investment, you know, buy it some, like... Yeah, if we give it some speed effort values, we can either buy the things or we can literally grind Pokémon for speed effort values. Give it the Macho Brace. <sighs> but the Macho Brace, but no, um... Ocarus. Uh... I've never, like, gone for effort values, like, on purpose, to, uh, in a Pokemon game casually. But yeah, now that I've d started doing Nuzlocks, I've done it a couple of times. Like, I definitely buffed up my Lapras when I was fighting Claire in Pokemon Gold, and I'm a little worried about Phoebe, so I'm thinking maybe I need a little bit of speed investment to fight her. Does anybody know? I don't know if any of you guys know this, but if you like, if you know a lot about Pokemon, specifically Generation 3, um, do you know, do trainers have effort values on any of their Pokemon? Specifically, uh, like, the gym leaders in Elite Four? Do any of their Pokemon have effort value investment? Because I think they do in, like, Generation 7? I want to say they do in Generation 7, but I don't know if that's the case in Generation 3. Yeah, because I know someone's talked to me about this back in, like, the Red Speedrun days, but I don't, I don't know who that person that, like, knew all the things was. I don't remember. Yeah, I'm hoping they don't, because, like, if they have no effort values, it should be easy to get past them. Prince says I'm not sure about effort values, but possibly IVs. Okay, okay. Yeah, if they have IVs... Uh, yeah, no, I'll definitely, I'll definitely have to put, you know, true investment in the speed. Because it's like, if they had none, then I could just be like, I could barely put anything, and I should be fine. But if that's not the case, then it's gonna require, you know, I kind of double down. Prince saying in Ultra Sun and Moon, they definitely do, because those games are harder. Yeah, yeah. Magic Enforcer says, I think they do. It's not super significant, though. Okay, okay. Fair enough. I'm just a little worried about Phoebe. She scares me, man. I mean, she uses spooky ghosts. How could I not be scared? And then, um, Glacia, again, we should be fine. We do have a Fighting-type Pokemon. But it's also a Grass-type. Does Fighting itself... Resist Ice? I don't normally use fighting type Pokemon, so I'm not I'm not too sure about that. I want to say they do, but I don't I don't know if that's the case. Like, can you hit him a champ? No, no, you can hit him a champ with the Ice Beam. Yeah, they do not resist Ice. You can hit a champ with Ice Beam, and it deals neutral effective damage. I remember now. I was I just had to think back to Pokemon Red Speed Runs. Yo, not in confusion. Feels good. So yeah, with that being the case, now I'm back to worried. Cause it's like, yeah, my uh, sky uppercut, if it lands and it's only 90% accurate, I'll probably one hit most of the ice types. But if they, uh, if I miss, cause it, again, it's only 90 accurate, so I should miss that one out of 10 times. And if it doesn't, like, one-hit KO them, which I assume... Like, I think she has a Walrin. I don't think it would one-hit KO that because of how bulky it is. Petrolia says, Fighting only resists Rock, Bug, and Dark. Got you, got you. 
Fair enough, fair enough. Or it's so weird how fighting resists bug and bug resists fighting. Interesting. Oh man. I'm getting anxious, I'm getting real anxious, man. Oh, is she the last person here? I assume there'd be a little bit more fighting, but that's fine. Ha 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 ha! You are going to meddle in Team Aqua's affairs? You're either absolutely fearless, simply ignorant, or both. You're so cute, you're disgusting. I'll put you down, kitty. I'm so cute, I'm disgusting? Oh, no, no, I, I think I've used that phrase before. That's fair. Alright, let's go, Shelly. Oh, she's, uh, she's the one that got the, like, redesign in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, right? Yeah, Admin Shelly. Yeah, she is so cute. She is so cute in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. She is adorable. Oh my goodness, I love her redesign. Her redesign is so good. You know, Super Sense Slayer saying you got this, thanks you. Thank you. And that controller says, you ever try and punch a gnat, thanks? Also, gnats don't punch hard. <laughs> I mean, that's that's a fair way to think about it. Like, um, I've, I've never personally punched a bug, but I have seen people punch bugs. I've seen people punch ants, which is really funny to me, because it's like, generally, you can't, like, get it, you know, like, you're not going to crush the ant a lot of the time. You just kind of hit the wall, and it's like, ow, my hand, and the ant's like, okay, or whatever. And then I've also seen people try to, like, punch a, well, not punch, but, like, squish. Like, I've seen people take a shoe to, um, what's it called? The, uh, Huntsman Spider in Tasmania? Yeah, I've seen someone take a shoe to one of those, and then take it off, and the spider just is like, okay, whatever, and it just walks away. I mean, like, it doesn't walk away, it does, like, those things are fast. I swear, if there was any spider that, like, you know, was the Flash, it would be a Huntsman Spider. It's not majestic, though. Fast, not majestic. It's bad enough to have Team Magma blunder about, but now there's you. What makes you want to sniff around in our business, anyway? I have a situation here. A Team Magma mob just passed the Weather Institute. They appear to be headed for Mount Pyre. What? Can't waste any more time here. We have to hurry to Mount Pyre, too. Ha ha ha! Team Magma, you just you wait! Well, I guess I wasn't even needed here. <laughs> um, it might be an odd way of thinking you, but take this Pokemon. Ah, oh, cool, a cast form. Want to give it a nickname? I sure do. I'm going to name you... Porygon... Uh, what? Beta? Yeah, apparently... The Porygon... Oh, I can't fit Beta in there. It's a little too big. Um... I'll just put the B and then like the period. We know what it means. Yeah, the Porygon beta was definitely eventually made into cast form. It's not a surprise that these two Pokemon are both man-made. Alright, what are we talking about? Um, Tinsoctor says, well, normal and ghosts are immune to each other. Fighting in a uh, bug aren't the only unusual pairing like that. I mean, yeah, normal ghost, I guess, is weird, but I don't know, like, I accept normal ghosts. Bug the fighting is the one that feels more weird to me. Because, I mean, like, yeah, punching a bug isn't the best, but stepping on a bug usually gets the job done. I mean, obviously, some bugs are really big, but still. And now, Katroi says, dude, shoes aren't good at killing bugs. Use a baseball bat. <laughs> it's much more useful at killing bugs. Name them fuzzy? Nah, man. Thanks giving up on creativity. I just think it's a good name. It's really fitting, you know? Uh-oh, I forgot about the rival fight. Oops. Uh, Flash the Spider? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, So I was like, why are we... F why is it called Flash? And yeah, yeah, I was talking about Speedsters. Because I was thinking, like, HM Flash. Uh, Vinks, where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Ready with your Pokemon? Of course you are. Go! I mean, I did just heal, but... Oh, man. Oh, man. Your baseball bat is a rock type. Oh, my goodness. 
You have used a baseball bat on the centipede? It was super effective. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, nah, like... I mean, for me, like, it depends on, like, the, like, the day, like, my mood. Like, if I'm in a really good mood, like, I'll take the bug outside. If I'm in a bad mood, I'll probably crush the bug with whatever, like, random object I can find. Your roommate was rolling on the floor laughing? No, man. I, I definitely, definitely think, like, anyone should do that. And, uh, Control- or not Control, since Octa was saying, so is that kind of spider in Australia or just Tasmania? I saw it in Tasmania, but it is also in, uh, mainland Australia. I believe you'll see it more in Melbourne, or not Melbourne, uh, well, yeah, in Melbourne, but in the Victoria state. Like, it's pretty much everywhere in, like, southern coast of Australia, pretty much all the way around, but mostly Victoria and then also Tasmania. Troy is saying, dude, all bugs that enter my home die. It's principal. They aren't paying rent. Jeez, man. I mean, like, can they cut you a deal? Like, maybe if they get rid of the other bugs? Is that, is that good enough? <laughs> yeah, see, Legend saying spiders pay the rent by doing that job for you. Like, for me, I was more lenient with bugs, like, in, uh, my younger days. But, uh, now, like, yeah, no, I don't like bugs in the house, no matter what kind of bug they are. Be it a fly, be it a spider, whatever, man, they all gotta go. They all gotta go. Alright, so you are a grass-type Pokémon with very powerful attacks. Um, I can switch into my grass-type and you wouldn't have anything to, like, hit into me. Um... I don't know what all of his attacks are. If I stay in for a turn, I assume it'll be okay? But if he hits me with a grass type attack, yeah, let's have Catrolius tank that. Go, Catrolius! Alright, he screech and he missed. Nice, nice. I, I don't want reduced defense. Catrolius is not exactly known for his defense. Um, let's, let's go ahead and stun for him. And I missed. Perfect. <laughs> right, there's a Leaf Blade. Okay, yeah, resisted. Flies are decomposers or scavengers. And now Legend saying flies and mosquitoes can go extinct if they do literally nothing for us. Yeah, no, I'm not a huge fan of uh, flies or mosquitoes, especially mosquitoes. Like, it depends on, like, the region, man, but some places you just don't want to mess with uh, mosquitoes, man. They can mess you up. Dude, somebody's paralyzed. Not my problem. See you later, Grow Vile! <laughs> All mosquitoes can, uh, go to heck? Yo, yeah, fair enough, Tenth Doctor. Fair enough. Yeah, one of my friends is, like, super allergic to mosquitoes. Like, they get giant welts. Uh, but I had absolutely nothing to worry about. Keep it up. And here, I have a present for you. Hi, ah, HMO2. But yeah, I need the gym badge to use this, I believe. Use Fly and your Pokémon will instantly carry you to any town you've already visited. But, to use Fly, you have to get the gym badge from Fortree City. That's important, so don't forget. You should fly home and visit Little Root for a change. I bet your mom's worried about you, Banks. Well, let's meet again somewhere. Yeah, I should, uh, I should definitely do that. Oh, it's this guy again. Ha ha ha! Way to go, Banks! I just passed by a trainer riding a bike. You just beat that trainer, didn't you? It's pretty obvious that you did. The kid looked really upset with the face all red from anger. I sure seem to run into you often. Are you off to Fortree Gym next? I expect that you'll do well at the gym. Well, I'll be seeing you. Alright, later, buddy. That's interesting. I didn't know May got that upset for losing. He seemed like one of the more like friendlier rivals, so I didn't think she took competitive that seriously. Apparently she does. And, um, Catrolli says, too many mosquitoes are around my old place. We had, uh, a lake right next to us. They are garbage and need to burn. Yeah, no, man. If you live near a body of water, it's always sad times. And, uh, Legend saying mosquitoes are already annoying as heck, and then malaria in certain places. Yeah, rest in peace, man. Uh, Invisa says maybe he lied about her being angry? He, he could have lied. That is a possibility. I just, I don't think he actually did. 
It could just be Scott misreading the situation. True! Maybe she was red, cause, you know, we were so close in the rain. It was romantic. That could have been what it was. Could have been that she had romantic feelings and she wanted to push those away, so she quickly, quickly cycled away on her bike, and he happened to see her, and he's like, oh wow, she's really angry. Such a sore loser. <laughs> but, um, anyways, that is an electric-type Pokemon. I gotta go! Uh... Um, electric-type, electric-type. I can use my electric-type, I could use... Yeah, let's use, uh, Catrolius. <laughs> May is not Misty. Yo, man. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, she's the same, you know, bikes, anger, love. I'm not saying all of that. But, I don't know, man. Maybe. Maybe it was there. <laughs> I made the joke you were gonna make? Yep. Uh, Legend says, maybe that line was written for Brendan, the male rival, and it just rolled over to me? I could be. Because I know, like, um, most of the games... I say most of the games. I feel like the real answer is... All of the games treat both the rivals as, like, the same character. I mean, yeah, not, like, um, red and gold. Because, like, those were, like, specific characters. Versus, like, um, Gen 3 and up. It's always just the other gender. It's like, oh, you're the boy, or oh, you're the girl, you're the rival. And so they just kind of always do the same thing. I don't know if they ever have different dialogue. Like, I know the dialogue's slightly different. Like in certain areas in some of the games, but for the most part, I believe they're always the same character. Just the gender swaps. Wait, don't you want to fight me? Yeah, there you go. Uh, Tensoctor says, All mosquitoes are good or are giving Jurassic Park a science reason to have real dinosaurs. I mean, you could still have, like, blood in amber without it being in a mosquito. I feel like that would be possible. But I mean, it, it is really cool to look at. So, I'll, I'll give it that. Yo, did he just use Fury Cutter? I intimidated him. And then he uses a not very effective attack. That, like, is kind of, like, guaranteed to do low damage if you never faint. Probably says the mosquitoes could have gone extinct too. He <laughs> wouldn't complain. Yeah, no, I, I feel you on that one. I would have been 100% cool with mosquitoes going extinct. I mean, we have plenty of other bugs that, you know, can do whatever, you know, mosquitoes were truly doing to the food web, I guess. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're mostly useless. Like, do they have... Like, I know some mosquitoes, uh, just by nature of flying around and stuff, some of them can be pollinators, but... Like, we got bees for that, you know? And I hate bees, I hate bees, I hate wasps, I hate all of them. But, you know, something's gotta pollinate. But we have tons of bugs! Like, bees aren't the only pollinators either, there's plenty of bugs that pollinate. So... Can we, like, not do that? Yo, cockroaches? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of cockroaches. They're really disgusting. I mean... I did enjoy my Madagascar hissing cockroaches that I had as, like, a pet for a little bit. Because of, um... Uh, it was winter break, and it was a school pet. So I was taking care of them, and they're actually pretty chill. Like, they don't hiss unless, like, you're doing something to stress them out. So they're, they're super chill. I never heard them hiss, actually. I never heard them hiss uh, while I was taking care of them. But yeah, no, man. They hiss something fierce. And it's so funny now, because, like, I know about the cockroaches, and, you know, how, like, they're not, you know, native <laughs> to America. So it's so funny to me when, like, I'll be watching, like, a reality show or whatever, and I'm like, oh, this place is so disgusting, look at these cockroaches, and then there'll be Madagascar hissing cockroaches. And it'll be like, those were put there. <laughs> like, these are not native to this region. This is not real. <laughs> But, you know, they're just doing it for the, uh, the wow or drama factor. So silly. And, uh, Catrolius says, I hate cockroaches with the passion of a thousand suns. I wouldn't warm up to cockroaches if I was cremated with them. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. I like that. 
Alright, uh, Pekka Berry. Through that- No, don't check the tag! Ah. Oh. Yo, I hope they bring back, uh, Growing Your Own Berries in Generation 8. That would be really cool. I don't expect berries will be in Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. I'm okay with that. But, um, I know in Generation 7, like, you could get berries. But if I remember right, the only way you could get berries were there were, like, berry trees. And there would just be a bundle of berries under them, and you just have to check that. And sometimes, like, a Pokemon would come out instead. It was, like, super slow and not really fun to me. I love growing the berries myself. I think that's really cool. Legend says, I've never had a bee fly into my house. But there are at least 20 dead mosquitoes decomposing in my room right now from this summer. Bees tend to leave you alone if you return the favor, but mosquitoes just don't care. Yo, bees are generally pretty chill. Like, I hate bees. Generally pretty chill. Wasps, though. Wasps are jerks, man. They don't care. They're like, whoa, are you, are you passing by me for no reason? <laughs> you... You must be something that I need to attack! Like, that's just how wasps are, man. And, like, they... Oh, they fly around so haphazardly. But, like, with a bee, like, they generally are going in, like, a general direction. And I usually stay in a spot for a while. So, like, it's very easy to, like, be out of, uh... <laughs> be out of the way for a bee. But the wasps, man... Nah, they're all just... They're so ziggy-zaggy when they fly around. So it's really hard to get a read on, like, where they're going. Wait, I don't want to trade anything. Stupid kid. Um, what do you got? Trading Pokemon with others. It's wonderful! No, no, no. You guys are trying to rip me off. You can't trick me just because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, controller says, Dude, I want to say thanks. This continued discussion of insects may cause me to curse, and I apologize if that happens. <laughs> I mean, it's all good. Um, you know, that's that's why Automod's there. If anyone accidentally makes a mistake, they will just be purged. Um, unfortunately it doesn't work for my moderators, but my moderators are, like, on the up and up. I never had a problem with any of them. Uh, their hidden powers are aroused by living and natural environments. Let this old woman see if her hidden power has awoken. Hold a coin in my hand. Now tell me, have I palmed it in the right hand or the left hand? Right is the right answer. Oh yes, correct. I shall try again. Which hand have I palmed the coin, the right or left? The right one. Oh yes, correct. I shall try again. And the right one. <laughs> no, too bad, you guessed wrong. Well, maybe next time. <clears throat> My wife relies on hidden power to stay awake. You should just take a nap like I do and sleep talk. I can teach your Pokemon how to sleep talk instead. Interested? <laughs> nah, I'm good. Oh, fine, fine. You want to stay awake with hidden power too? Or I can just stay awake normally? The <laughs> mods only up and up? When did this happen? And I'll let say in cough, cough, x and raises cough, cough. Yeah, no, man, Vex has dropped the ball. Like, that's always the thing. When I'm on Discord racing against with people, that's generally when there's going to be, like, swears happening. And, like, obviously, we talk about it. They usually are, like, really, really respectful, and they try, you know, really hard. But, like, that's just a problem. If swearing is part of your natural vocabulary, you're going to eventually fail. Like, it's guaranteed. You're going to fail. You can be as strong-willed as you want to be. You are only human. So, it's a, it's a 0 10 matchup. You're not gonna win. Like, you're going to eventually not be focusing on it, especially if you're doing some sort of event that goes on for hours. You're eventually going to be so focused on something else, you're not gonna think about it, that thing's gonna be frustrating, and you're going to say what you always say in frustrating situations, which is how you naturally reduce the stress that you're in. Cause it's uh it's been proven that like saying uh certain swear words it's uh there's this certain like i can't remember it's like a kinetic power like kinetic's not the right word but there's or i guess phonetic but i mean even that's not the right word but i can see where i would use that but like there's something about those words that just using them can de-stress you but uh <laughs> yeah no nah. there's there's other ways to de-stress i don't need that I do not need that personally. But again, I understand why other people do it. I don't want to buy merchandise. Uh, Tinsocter is on the up and up until I say where mosquitoes can all go. Well, to be fair, I don't consider that word, like, a swear word. I don't mind if people use that word in my chat. That's completely okay. But I'd rather we not 
over say it. Like there's a lot of words that people will say in chat that I personally won't repeat myself, but I don't think that they're bad to have in chat. Like it's okay. I just tone it down when I repeat. Uh, do you think I've made a ton of mistakes in my life? No bot has ever purged me, I'm still kicking. <laughs> Yo, that's good, man. Uh, controller says, it's not guaranteed. I'm very good at not swearing when I'm doing specific times. I swear when I'm around my friends, but I don't around family or at work. Yeah, that's good, man. Because, like, I just, I know so many people that just fail, like, even in those situations. Like, they'll be good for a long while. Like, they'll be good, but eventually there's this, uh, sense of comfort, this, like, feeling of ease. You know, like, you're so comfortable. And then that's when the frustration or difficult situation approaches, and that collides in that moment. Your guard is down, and that's when it happens. That's usually when it happens. It's, it's pretty tough. Um, I would say darn geese. I don't think it's the worst word in the world or anything, but it is a word that I would prefer people not to use in my chat. But if someone did accidentally use it, it's not the end of the world. There's worse words. There's definitely worse words. But if someone went out of their way to use it, because they're like, oh, Banks is talking about, <laughs> about this word, <laughs> let me type that, that would be someone I would have to time out or ban. Because it's like... No, you can't, you can't be doing like that. But like, that's the nature of Twitch. Like, if I ever become a bigger channel, which I don't know if I will, but if I ever became a bigger channel, I think that would be something I would have trouble with. Cause like, it's so tough, man. It's just human nature. If you tell people not to do something, then they want to do it. It's so annoying. But you know, it, it is what it is. Without the blasphemy bit? Yeah, that's fair. Um, I mean, I don't really think it's that big of a deal, you know? Like, again, I just do a family-friendly stream. That's the only reason why it's a subject here. Like, in general, like, I don't care about swearing. Like, when I'm not streaming, I personally still don't swear just because I don't want to ever, um, fall into that. Like, I think it's a crutch that I a lot of people end up leaning on and it ruins their vocabulary in the long term. There's a lot of people that I feel want to express themselves in so many ways and they don't <laughs> because they just rely on the same words they always use. Which to be fair, you can do even without swearing. I just feel that it's uh, even more debilitating. But um, but yeah, still in practice, like I have tons of friends that swear all the time. My sisters both swear. Like, Senpai stream? <laughs> My sister Senpai. She streams Overwatch. She swears like a sailor. That's what she wants to do? More power to her, man. But, uh... Yeah, no. Just not my cup of tea. Uh, D says, just use Dang as a replacement for everything? Yeah, <laughs> Dang works! Uh, Controller saying professionalism is important. I'm aware there are times that I can't swear and I'm good at not using them. If I use a lot of curses when I'm not in a scenario, I decide it's necessary? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Cause yeah, it's uh, I mean, not everybody can do that, Controlius. Not everybody can do that. Like, quite a few people, you know, they have, they have it at first, man, but... Willpower versus, like, routine is pretty difficult to get past. So, like, I don't, I don't blame anyone that does it. People that do have the willpower to prevent themselves from swearing in situations where they would normally swear because they know that, like, hey, I shouldn't swear here. Like, that's that's super commendable. That is super duper commendable. Because, like, it takes real willpower to do that. So it's very impressive. Oh, I'm already level 33 on Water Snack. I didn't notice. Um... Daily Puff's level 25... I don't know. I don't think this will be tough, but at the same time... Hmm... Yeah, let's use Tintabut. Go, Tintabut! Oh, okay, okay. I was like, I do not want to go to sleep. Gosh darn sing. Uh, Controller saying I'm the oldest cousin on my mom's side of the family, and I've been the one a lot of my cousins look up to. I wanted to be a good example, and cursing isn't part of that example. Yep, yep, that makes a lot of sense. And that's super cool, man. 
Why am I not using Surf on the Swablu? It is not a Dragon type, it is normal flying. Surf is fine. Super Sense Slayer says, To be honest, I've been trying to follow your example about swearing. Not that I have to, but I do agree with your views. Yo, fair enough, man. Like, I don't expect anyone to agree with my views. Like, it's just how I personally feel. If people feel different, you know, that's cool too. Like, I don't think it's like an objective truth. It's just, you know, the things that I've experienced in my life, and that's why I feel the way that I do. Uh, Catrolius says, that being said, I replace curses with other words that make no sense without knowing the background, like shouting nuggets when <laughs> stubbing my toe. Uh, that stuff's always funny to me, man. I like that. When people replace swear words with silly words. It's just, it's so much funnier to me. Which is like something I'll play up every now and then. Like, I don't know. I'll be doing like something and I'll be like really frustrated. And I'll be like, gosh darn, gee whiz, golly gee. I don't know, I'll just be saying all those, like, silly things. It's just funny to me. But yeah, I can't fight the gym leader yet. I forgot about that. So I was like, I should go back and fight the gym leader, yeah? Or at least fight the trainers? But yeah, I, I can't do that yet. I have to get the thing that allows me to see invisible Pokémon. Um... Let's get Kelseon in front... Or, Kelseon. Catrolius <laughs> in front. I was thinking about the Kelseon. Um... Yeah, we're fine, we're fine, we're good, we're good. Uh, Legend says, I don't think I've slipped up on that in a long while. Most of the times you did were for words that you didn't know were prohibited. And uh, Bank sees me in Hippo's chat, I'll swear a fair bit in there. Yeah, no, man. Like, um, when I'm in Hippo's chat, I obviously still don't swear, but I'm a bit more colorful. Like, I'll make a couple of adult jokes in Hippo's stream. Like, I don't go, like, super extra or anything like that. Like, it's still, like, you have to read into it to see what I'm talking about. If you're not really paying attention, it can be pretty easy to miss. But yeah, I, I, I talk a bit more mature in other people's streams. Uh, Catrolli says, well, it wasn't meant to be a replacement. It was part of a swear I created. I just dropped the curse word, and it was Nuggets, and I find that one hilarious. Okay, okay, I see. I see. And, um, you also have gotten really used to being in my chat, so there aren't many Twitch chats you swear in. Ow, a beam! I am not losing Catrolius. I refuse. Um, so there aren't many Twitch chats I swear in. But I try and make adult jokes if I see them. <laughs> yep, yep, that's fair, man. That makes sense. Alright, you should be paralyzed, my friends. <laughs> Don't let you die? Yo, I got you. <laughs> Details are not required? Yep, yep. Uh, I don't like the sound of that screech. My defense has harshly fallen. Um, Water Snick, would you help me out? Yeah, I want to catch this guy. Because uh, I consider Kelseon a gift Pokémon versus, like, a route Pokémon. Because he's in the overworld, like Gyarados and Pseudo Wudo, or Snorlax. So I'm gonna catch him. Hopefully. Now let's try Bite, because my special's not very high. Yeah, no, that's fine. But now it's a Dark type, so it'll do even least damage, or less damage. He has Faint Attack! I just gave him Stab. Um. Yeah, Dragon Rage is a set 40, so. Unless he's like a baby on HP, he should be fine. Yeah, no, we're good, we're good. Heck, Leon, that's right, you told me last time, I forgot. And you're a winner in here, uh, saying something in Korean. I cannot speak Korean, so I don't know what that says, but how are you doing, winner? What's up, man? Yeah, I saw you in, uh, Senpai's chat not too long ago. Yeah, I, I couldn't fall asleep. I was just watching her play, because, yeah, that's right, you were trying to play Overwatch, or no, you were playing Overwatch with her. Uh, you were carrying on Farah, which, oh man, bless your heart playing with Senpai, because, like, she is awfully silver, man, so, like, the SR adjustments are, ugh, they're not the nicest. Alright, clearly, clearly, so I can never be wrong again, we'll just name him Kelseon. Can't be wrong. I did it. She abandoned me and didn't even realize for two games. Yep. Yeah, no, man. Senpai, she has no awareness. 
Like, um, I played with her back in the day. Like, I helped her get to Platinum, but, like, there were so many times, because I was usually the party leader, and every, like, almost every single time we finished the game, she would just leave. I'd be like, but, uh, it worked because we were on, uh, voice chat. We were on, um, not, like, voice chat in the game, but voice chat through, uh... Is this, is this a route that I'm on right now? I'm not sure. I want to make sure, because I don't want to use, uh, my thing. What, what are all the Pokemon you can catch in Route 120? Uh, yeah, because I'm thinking of Route 122, I think. Route 120, Bulbapedia. But yeah, my, my point just being Senpai, man. If you're not on a voice chat outside of uh, Overwatch, you can't play together. It's just not possible. Because she'll leave the party every single time. Um, Oddish, Meryl, Uchina, Zigzagoon, Seedot, Surskit, Absol. Interesting. The Absol is 8%. Um, we technically already have Kelsion, so that's Species Claws. Oh yeah, you can't catch Surskit in this one. That's uh, Ruby and Sapphire. Um, I don't have to do Zigzagoon. I have every single one of these Pokemon, but Oddish. And Oddish is 25%, so I'll probably run into Oddish. I could catch Golding if I Surf, but I don't want a Golding. Um, I could catch a Barbroach if I go Fishing. Do I want a bar brooch, guys? Do I want a bar brooch? <laughs> Avoiding the problem? Yo, the super strats. Has there been a third uh, tense? Um, was it? Yeah, no, we've already had three. Because the first tense doctor character was Meryl, and it was Lombre, and then it was uh, Marshtomp. We've already done three. But yeah, we don't have the third Vex yet, so yeah, I could have done that. Yeah, the Absol, the Absol would be really good. The Absol would be really, really good, but I'd have to not get the Oddish. Um, let's see, let's see. No, I don't think I, I can't rig it. I can't rig it, because Oddish is level 25 through 27. Absol's only level 25 and 27. Um, and that would take a lot of repels anyway, so it'd be really expensive. I'll just, I'll just try my luck. If we catch the Oddish, we catch the Oddish. If we catch the Absol, we catch the Absol. It is what it is. Let's see what we can get. Yo, first try, Absol? What? What? Okay. Okay. Um, hello. Oh, I, I didn't heal. Um, let's not, let's not die trying to catch this Absol, yeah? I mean, I know it knows dark type attacks, but it could know Slash as well, maybe? I'm a little worried about that. Let's get this Thunder Wave going. <laughs> Yo, man. So lucky. You don't want to kill the Absol? Yeah, I wouldn't want to do that either. Yo, I have a quick attack too. Oh, Paralyzed can't move. <laughs> Not my problem. Oh, Taunt. Yeah, Taunt means I can't use my moves, but my Encore! <laughs> Alright, let's just get it yellow. Yeah, there it is. Oh no! A whirlwind? Uh, how does that work? It's not the whirlwind move. That's uh, razor wind. I think is the name of the move. Yeah, if I use intimidate, that reduces its damage, right? Razor wind. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna crit. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, no, I'm in. I'm throwing an ultra ball at this thing. Come on, ultra ball. Do what needs to be done. Oh come on! It just popped out instantly. My HP's so low. Uh, Tintabut, you're kind of bulky. Just stand there for a bit, would ya? I'd appreciate that. Whirlwind ends the encounter? Yeah, yeah. Now, Super Sense Slayer saying, mind naming Absol after me since I donated the last stream? If not Absol, then your next Pokemon? Yeah, we can name uh, Absol after you, that's fine. No worries. Go in the ball. <laughs> Go in the ball! Um, Light Insane, I think this thing should get the Shadow Ball TM whenever you come across that. Absol, go in the- go in the ball, okay? Absol's a strong Pokemon who don't need no trainer? Apparently not. Gosh darn it, man. Gosh darn it, Absol. Now we're down to Great Balls. And you was also saying, absolutely! It is not absolutely going into any of these balls, man. 
Oh, what is the catch rate on this thing? Nothing? I should have healed before I was looking for the Pokemon, but with my luck, it would have been an oddish if I had healed first. So close! So close! Go in the ball! And yo, Brookham in here, saying, Hexa? I don't know what that is, but how you doing? Absol, please. Absol, please. Pretty catch rate? Gotcha. Yo, winner also knowing. Yo, people with the stats, man. Would you go in the ball? You're paralyzed, you can't even move. If it can't even move, how can it pop out of the ball? This is why we need Pokemon Let's Go. So, like, I'm gonna have, like, 999 Pokeballs in that game, and I'll never be able to, like, not catch a Pokemon. Oh, wait, the repeat ball! I've had a great balls I didn't realize! Oh, no! We can hit more? I'm scared of, like, fainting it. Oh, I'm so close! Let's go in the dumb ball! Premier ball. This is a special ball. This is perfect. Obviously, it wants to be in the super sh- COME ON! Axel, please! Legend says I was so ready for the repeat ball to do it. It almost did! It almost had him. Come on, man. Lassie says, Vinks, it took me about 10 balls to catch a love disc on go. Ah, oh, that, that is a lot of Pokeballs. Oh, come on! Absol! What are you doing? This is like trying to catch a Moltres or Red Ice, man, I swear. Thanks, are you spinning the D-pad and pressing B? Nah, I'm just kind of mashing A and throwing Pokeballs. Cause like, nothing changes the uh, catch rate. I used to think it did when I was a kid, but... I mean, I can't help it, I still kind of just mash A. It's kind of like a thing that's carried over, but I know nothing doesn't, like, change it, but I, I do mash A sometimes. No, he needs to press L, R, plus A, plus start. Yo, we got him! It's an Absol! It's an Absol. Superstitious you? I'm not superstitious! I know it doesn't change anything. Give a nickname to Absol. Super Smash Brothers! Or Super Sin Slayer. That one too. Alright, Super... I mean, Sin won't... Super Sin Slayer won't fit. Let's put as much of the Slayer in there as we can. Super Slayer. Is that is that fine? Super Sin Slayer, you think that's good? And uh, Katro said, dude, you got him? Yeah, we got him, man. Like, the odds of encountering him was 8%. He was the first encounter. We went through, like, 10 balls of varying quality. Finally caught him in a Pokeball. We take those. Yeah? Okay, okay. Yo, let's go. Let's go. And let's save, you know, in case the game crashes. <laughs> I'm not losing that Absol, man. That's... That's a good Pokemon right there. That is a good Pokemon. I would not mind using that. Yeah, let's take this dumb Sviper off the team. Put uh, Absol on. I think that's a good swap. Petroli says, no, I'm superstitious. At least when it comes to games. <laughs> that's fair, man. Yeah, I used to be really superstitious when I was a kid. But the older I got... Like, I got more and more into math and probability. Like, I know I'll definitely always say that I am unlucky, but I mean, like, when I'm saying I'm unlucky, like, I'm really just stating a fact here, because, like, let's be very real. I lose in these situations way more than anybody else does. So, I mean, you, you might want to look at that as a there's no such thing as luck, but... Vanks does lose terrible odds all the time. That's just a fact. It's just a fact. Oh wait, I didn't have to come back over here. Steven gave me the thing, I forgot. But, I do need to defeat all the Pokémon and level up. Yeah, we need to level up- oh wait, I forgot to put the Absol on there, but we're gonna level up Jigglypuff first anyway, so let's, let's do that. We can always go back and get Absol. Super Bash Sisters? Um, that's a- Cool alternative name. And yo, Magica Bax is in here. How you doing, Magica? Hopefully you're doing well. <laughs> Super Tussle Relatives. Yeah, that's a good name as well. And Zasu saying, got my red team up. Just have to rare candy them to 100? Yo, that's a lot of rare candies. Is that, um, through Missy No Game Shark? Or, like, how'd you get all your rare candies? 
Alright, so you're water line type. I am times four weak to flying, I'm not gonna chance it. Like, I know it's just a baby wingle, but it's within three levels of me. It has a times four advantage. Let's just not do that. It's just, that's playing with fire. Magica says, I'm okay. Super busy today, but wanted to pop in because your stream always cheers me up. <laughs> Yo, that's really cool. Thank you, Magica. I appreciate that. I'm glad to hear that my stream has that effect. I mean, that's definitely, you know, what I'm always hoping for. You know, that people are just having a good time. But yeah, no, like, um, even if you can only come in here for a short time, anytime someone comes in just to say hi, like, that's gonna make me happy. So thank you. And, uh, Zatsu saying power saves? I'm playing this on Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Oh! So you're playing Gen 6, but you're using, uh, Red's team from, like, Pokemon Red, or, like, one of the other ones? Maybe from the Pokemon Adventure manga. Clearly, that's what your team's inspired from, right? Or let me guess, Satsu, you, you haven't seen the manga, have you? Oh, the team from Pokemon Stadium 2? Oh, that's, that's interesting! Yeah, no, curious, curious. What is this team in Pokemon Stadium 2? See, if I remember right, in what, Gold and Silver, I think his team is... Espeon, Snorlax... Pikachu, and then the three starters? Or did he have a Lapras? Did he have a Lapras instead of Espeon? Yeah, no. He might have had a Lapras. And then he had an Espeon in one of his other in one of the other games, I think. I can't remember. I'll find out one day. Your party Pokemon, do they have different types? Uh most of them. Uh I do have two water type Pokemon, but I think that's okay. And let's see, Zasu says, all three Johto starters, Scizor, Taurus, and Jolteon. Oh, cool. That's pretty cool. I, I can dig that. Pretty interesting. Um, yeah, Controllus has got this. A thunder? I mean, I resist it, but ow! 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 Jeez. Buddy. Wow. Okay. I see you. Um, uh, Blue, could you help me out, please? Ow! That hurts so bad! Alright, alright, I resist this too. Okay, okay, yeah, we have much higher special defense than Catrolius says. Catrolius has no defenses. Oh, Catrolius, man. Alright, uh, quick attack, I guess? <laughs> I do no damage and I'm paralyzed. That is, that is super bad. Alright, Thunder Wave. Oh, oh, can we Encore him in that? Oh wait, no, we're slower than him. We won't be able to... We'd have to do it two turns in a row. I'll just, I'll just quick attack. Thunder! Thunder! Thundercats! Stupid, stupid thing, man. Oh, this hurts so bad! How much PP does Thunder Wave have? Maybe Encore? Nah, man. Yeah, I'm going for No, not a hyper potion! Oh, this is this is pretty bad, guys. This is pretty bad. This is super bad, man. I don't know if we're gonna I don't know if we're gonna come out okay on this one, guys. I don't know about all that. Yeah, no, blue, blue could die. Blue could definitely die. Gonna get bodied by a random trainer? He has thunder! I wasn't ready for all that. Not exactly. Alright, Voltorb, now's your chance to shine! Hmm. <laughs> that, uh, that took me to 7. 7 HP. I don't have self-destruct? Oh, man! So I was like, that's, that's my backup strat. That is not an option. It seemed less than ideal. I didn't really have a lot of good options. I didn't think I would take that much damage though. I mean, I know I'm not evolved, but I resist electric, but just the thunder hurts way too bad. We can sack the viper to get someone else out, but everybody is gonna die. 
Petroleus will die. Jigglypuff will die. Lou will die. Tentabite will probably die. Water Snack will definitely die. He could beat my whole team. That's a that's a possibility. I could game over right here. Alright, let's send out the Viper first. Let it go ahead and get knocked out. It's gonna be a team kill. Oh, we used Quick Attack! He has Quick Attack? Why wasn't he using that earlier? Alright, if we can get something off, uh... Go for the Lick Paralysis, I guess? Now we're dead. There's a Thunder. Oh, man. I mean, he only has so many Thunders. Alright, there goes Sir Viper. Sir Viper's dead now. Um... I think I should use Tintabut. I don't know if it'll survive. I don't know. Let me... Uh, no, that's cheating. Um... Ah... Uh, ah... Uh, I can test it. Like, I don't need to water Pokemon anyways. Because it's gonna outspeed me. It's gonna use Thunder. It's gonna be times too effective. It's Stab... Ah, oh, it's so much damage. But, like, I don't, I don't have much of a choice. Like, because if I can survive and get a Surf off, that would do pretty good damage, I think. Do as much damage as you can as they get bodied. Yeah, I'm trying. You made a mistake switching so often. I mean, what was the alternative? <laughs> what was the alternative? Um, let's see. Yeah, maybe, maybe Tintabut. Because, like, I can't, I can't switch into anything else. Nothing can do anything. Better off sacking one or two, but now it might kill your whole team. That was always the case. That case never changed. As long as he's faster than me, there was no alternative. No only hope. Oh, I'm faster than him! I didn't think I would be faster than Manetric. Please die. Yes, let's go! Okay, okay. Nice, nice. Tintabot is faster than Manetric. Let's go, dude. Oh my god. Goodness! Random trainer! Oh, that was so scary. That was so scary, man. Oh. I just- I always assume electric Pokemon are so fast. Not a crit. We were in the rain, so the water was boosted from that. It was like a rain dance was active. Oh my goodness, dude. I can't believe I was faster than him! I just always assume- Because, like, most electric Pokemon are fast. Voltorb's fast. Uh, Pikachu's fast, uh, Jolteon's fast, they're all fast, most of them. Magneton's not very fast, but a lot of them are. We only lost the Viper, which I was gonna put in the PC anyways, so that's, that's pretty good, man, that's pretty good. I mean, it would've been better if no one died, but I am okay with this. I am okay with not having a Viper. I can- I can live with that. I can absolutely live with that. That is okay. Um, Castform, what attacks do you have right now? That's a Mystic Water. Yeah, it knows Rain Dance and Sunny Day. I don't know, should I level up Castform for Tate and Lisa? Because it has to be a double battle, and I believe two of her Pokémon know Sunny Day, and I can counter that with Rain Dance. Which will boost my tentacle, and I can like surf and stuff. I don't know. That sounds like a good strategy. Yeah, I think I think I'll just use Voltorb for now because of how scary this gym is. But then after we beat the gym, I think we'll level up Cast Form. I think that would be a good idea. Petroli says Manetric is slow, if I remember correctly. No, Control says the rain, I think, speeds up water Pokemon. Only if they have the Swift Swim ability, which I don't believe Tentacruel does. I think it has, like, near body and, like, liquid ooze. And I don't remember what its, like, hidden ability is. Maybe Rain Dish? Yeah, it's, its hidden ability is probably Rain Dish. So Cast Form in the Tentacruel Surf would be really nice? Yes, yes. Would be really good. In Gen 3? I thought Surf in every Gen doesn't hit both, uh, Pokémon. Um, or, I mean, it hits both, but not your partner. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, alright, alright. So, I want to level up Jigglypuff. We need that Electrode. Um, yeah, I have Spark, right? Yeah, we have Spark. That's something. 
Yeah, get him up to level 33, get you up to 33. We'll do that when we're fighting the trainers. You try to get Jigglypuff to at least level 30. Yeah, you're almost there, you're almost there. Absol will want some levels too. We'll get there when we get there. Yeesh, that was... that was so painful. And that was supposed to be a double battle too. If we had walked in front of them, we would have had to fight both of them at the same time. Aw, oh, that would have been... That would have been scary. Cause yeah, she has she has the cast form. Oh wait, it doesn't. That cast form doesn't use Sunny Day, does it? Watch it use Sunny Day. Well, I'm gonna make it drain for you. So if it lives through that, we'll see. Oh wow, that is a really bulky cast form. No, no, it's going with the Potter Pulse. Okay. And um, let's see. Uh, Legend says I believe Surf hitting your allies started in Gen 4 or 5. Oh, did it? Okay, okay. I guess I just haven't used Surf in a while. Yeah, no, I think I've been using Muddy Water in VGC. I don't believe Muddy Water hits your uh, partner. Trollus' Manetric base speed is 105. Okay, so it is fast. And I have, I have slower base speed, so I must have just had more uh, effort values. Legend says Tinta has a plus speed nature, so I'm pretty sure the 425 chance saved this Nuzlocke. Okay, yeah, that could be it too. I didn't realize I had the plus speed nature. I think you told me that before, but I'm pretty good at forgetting things. Alright, so he's hurting pretty bad. Let's go ahead and switch to blue. The troll just has no defenses. Like, if he can't one-hit something, he's just really not that powerful. Alright, get out of here, cast form. You're being real mean to Catrolius. He's trying his best, but you're being a real jerk. I'm so glad I didn't fight both of them at the same time. I definitely would have lost Pokemon. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up. A random Manetric, man. Ah, oh, that was so painful. Controller says, I have no defense, I try to knock out everything really quick, what can I say? Yo, when when Controllies learn Sky Uppercut, things will be better. We need that Sky Uppercut, man. That's not so later. I think it's level 36. Yeah, we looked it up earlier, but... Oh yeah, you know Psychic type attacks. Forget that. You can fight... Water Snick. But yeah, like... I don't wanna... Uh, I'm not resistant. To, uh, the psychic type attacks, but Water Snake has respectable special defense. It's not as high as Tentacles, but Tentacle is also weak to psychic type attacks. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess I could use that instead. Control is looking like Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Sub Tyson had defense. Yeah, it wasn't. It was a uh, stamina that he was falling behind on, right? I mean, like, obviously he had stamina, just compared to other people that he was boxing. Again, this is just what I've been told. I don't know for real for real myself. I'm not into boxing. I've never really checked that stuff out. But I was told that he would always try to knock out people really, really quickly. But yeah, I'm not the boxing expert. If D-Train's still in here, I think D-Train knows about that stuff. Oh, Whirlwind, hello. It's a me, Jigglypuff. Joey says Tyson had plenty of stamina. The rumor came from the fact that his fights were super short. Tyson had a temper, and the longer the fight went on, he let it get to him. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, if there's anyone I would assume had uh, anger problems. Yeah, no, Mike Tyson, that, that sounds pretty accurate. And that's why Hollyfield beat him? Oh, okay. I don't know who Hollyfield is. <laughs> but uh I'll take your I'll take your word for that. Of course headbutts do that. He headbutt him? <laughs> yeah, rip. Headbutt's OP. <laughs> Speaking of headbutts. Let's uh throw one of those into an Encada. Oh mind reader, my mind has been red! Heat Train says, is here, and not only did he have a temper, he was on drugs, so... Yup, yup, yup. You can't be doing them drugs, man. 
That'll end your career for sure. Ooh, trying to learn self-destruct. I was wondering when he was going to learn that. Yeah, I don't need Screech. Don't think I'll ever be using that, so let's replace that with self-destruct. But again, the self-destruct is a last ditch move. I don't plan on using self-destruct, but if like I have no options, I will use it to like try to save myself. Okay, this coughing. Um, it also could no self-destruct, so let's get that intimidate. <laughs> self-destruct in a nuzlocke. Hey man. If I need to use it, I will. It could save the run, but you still find it hilarious? It could save the run, man. Like, I sack Pokemon all the time. Like, you sack Pokemon in Nuzlocke, just so you can carry on to the next day. So, if you gotta sack it, why not, you know, get a bang out of it? Ow. That really hurt. I would really like to knock him out on the next attack. That would be cool. Try this Dragon Rage. Oh, so close. Okay, he didn't. He didn't self-destruct, so we're fine. I was really worried. And GG. <laughs> Banks will use self-destruct because he isn't paying attention. I mean, it'd be hard to do that because like, when I'm not paying attention, I just mash A. So I would just use Spark over and over again. Yeah, anything that I can accomplish by mashing A, that'll definitely happen. Almost always does. He's saying the this Pokemon works uh, long, hard hours for enslavement, and all you do is abuse them and sack them without any form of payment. If these Pokemon go to their union for compass compensation, there we go. Um. Nah, man. Pokemon are my friends, and we are following our dreams. That's what they say in the anime, right? So here we go. Here we go. All right. So that is a Ghost Dark type Pokemon. I cannot hit him with my Mach Punch, but I can also not hit him with Headbutt. But I can hit him with Mega Drain and Stun Spore. So we'll give that a shot. Fake out. All right. We won't be trying that out this turn. <laughs> Obviously compost. Yeah, that's uh, that's clearly what you're saying. And to detect. He's just being annoying, man. Just being annoying. <laughs> Double detect! Really? Sand attack him? I don't have any sand attacks. Yeah, nah, man. He's got them compound eyes. Alright, he's paralyzed. Faint attack! I resist that. Yeah, nah, D's. Just because this isn't an anime doesn't mean the Pokemon can't be my friends. I'm pretty sure if I go to the that lady, man, she'll tell me. She'll be like, yep, your Pokemon really cares, uh, really cares about you. It wants to be babied a little. That's what she said to my Mightyena really cares about you and wants to be babied but my Ian is way too big it doesn't need to be babied i missed the knowledge about boxing because i don't care i did i don't remember anyone else i thought i read everything um let's see yeah no i, I read everything did someone post something like really really big because if you post something really really big it doesn't show up in twitch chat like, you'll see it, the person that wrote it will see it, but nobody else will. And Legend saying, Banks, stop. Don't make my Ina the new Ridley. Oh, man. All I said was that he was too big. I didn't mean... <sighs> Jeez. Uh, Katro says, Evander Hollyfield, the guy who Tyson bit his ear off. Hollyfield was a notorious cheater who would often hit below the belt and headbutt. But he was really good at hiding it. Oh! I did not realize that was the case. But yeah, no one, um... Oh yeah, no, you, you did say that before. I missed that. It was right under the temper and drugs that D-Train was talking about. Yo, rip, man. Yo, dirty, dirty cheaters. Yeah, I'm not a, not a fan of the cheating. 
I am also sad about the ear, you know, that, that is a shame that happens. I can't, uh, I can't understand that, man. But again, apparently he was on drugs. It makes sense. We love you, Vinx. It's hilarious. Well, that's good. Yeah, no, man. It's tough, because, like, I'm looking at the game, I'm not looking at chat, right? And sometimes chat's, like, kind of slow, so it's not moving anywhere. So I'll look at the game, and I'll look over, and I'll see a lot of the things that I've already read, and I'm like, okay, I've read everything, and then I go back to the game. And yeah, like, it did move, but I didn't see it move, and I missed, like, one thing, man. I see everything else that I've read, but there's, there's a sentence in there that I missed. It happens, that's going to always happen. There'll never be a day where I read literally everything. I mean... No, there, there's been a couple of times I have done that. Oh, I am adding moves to attack him with. Gosh darn, full restore. Can Jigglypuff do this? Maybe. Maybe! 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 It can. Okay, it's a feint attack. Don't crit me, please. Don't crit me, please. Ow! <laughs> that really, really hurts! Um, I should be faster than him. Yep. I was willing to risk it for the biscuit. Multitasking is hard? Always. Uh, the ear was intense. You were alive when that happened. Do you not remember? <laughs> um... How old was I? <laughs> when when did that happen? I, I don't know what year that was. Sounds like it was 15 million years. 1997? Okay, yeah, no, I was, uh... I was definitely a kid and stuff, man. I was, uh... Eight years old. I wasn't into, um... I was definitely not into wrestling or boxing or any of that stuff. I had plenty of friends that were into wrestling, but... I never cared for it. Like, at that age... I'm pretty sure I was playing, like, what? Super Mario 64? Yeah, I wouldn't have to say I was playing, like, Super... Mario 64, Final Fantasy 7... Like, those were the things that I cared about. Bro, it says, dude, you are missing something with wrestling? It's some impressive stuff. I mean, I get that. It's just, like, wrestling was kind of, like, tainted for me. Because, um, I attribute wrestling with my uncle. My uncle was only about a year older than me, but he was way bigger than I was. And as a kid, he would always want to practice his wrestling moves on me. And he was older than me and bigger than me. So I couldn't say no. And, uh, yeah, no, it wasn't a lot of fun. I was never really too big into wrestling. I was like, yeah, the only thing I, uh, you know, when I think of wrestling, I think of this is painful. So I've never really been into that. So you got beat up a lot? Yeah. <laughs> My uncle would beat me up a lot as a kid. Like, um, it's funny now, because, like, my uncle's, like, he's a dad now, you know, and he's, like, he's super doting on his kid. So, like, it, like he tr he's trying so hard, man. Like, he's he's such a good person. He, take, he takes uh, really good care of his mom, of, of my grandmother, and, like, I don't know, he's good people. But, like, as a kid, I hated him. I hated him so much. But yeah, no, he, he's changed a lot. He's changed uh, to a much better person. Yeah, he he's also the uncle I always bring up when I say, like, uh, my Mega Man X2 was stolen from my uncle. Because yeah, he just took it, and he gave it to another kid, and he traded it for some squirrel game on Super Nintendo. I don't remember what the name of it was. It's not Conquer. Conquer didn't come out till like, N64. But, uh, yeah, he traded it for that game, he played it, like, one time, he never played it again, and he didn't give me my game back, <laughs> so, rest in peace. But yeah, nah, he's, he's good people. Mr. Nuts? Yeah, 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 I think that's right. Sounds about right. We, we've talked about it before. It's the only reason I know that it's not Conquer, because I thought it was. I remembered it being a squirrel, so I was like, that's Conquer, right? Nah, he didn't exist back then. Not exactly. Something unseeable is in the way. 
Final Pokemon attacked! Oh no! Uh, controller saying Ricochet will Osprey wrestling match. If you skip around 350, you'll see a bunch of really impressive moves. Fair enough! I will... So is that like, um... WWE wrestling? Or is that like... One of the other ones that's more like pure wrestling? This is again, like... I don't really know any of this stuff. So I'm not gonna like recognize a name and know what's what. Alright, Kelsion. Mock punch him? Mock punch him. And what is he gonna do? Here he slips. Yeah, nah, it's not a problem. Get out of here, Kelsion! Give me your XP! Is he worth a good amount? I mean, I assume he would be. He's a pretty strong Pokemon. Yeah, 282. Not too bad. Go Jigglypuff level 28! I'll check your Pokemon and see if they're fit for the outdoors. Uh, I think my Pokemon are just fine, thank you very much. Uh, Controlia is saying it's a Japanese promotion. They are called NJPW, New Japan Pro Wrestling. They are the Japanese equivalent of WWE. They are more ability oriented. They have a very Japanese style. Okay, that, that sounds pretty cool. But uh, Osprey is British and Ricochet is American? Okay, interesting. So, so it's a Japanese promotion, but the uh, people that came over are uh, from elsewhere. Fair enough. I will have to check that out. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, I got the flinch though. Nice, nice. You know, it's always lame when like they just have that little bit of red HP left. Like, it'd be one thing if you had like a focus sash or something. And full restore. Do all trainers in this area have full restores? What is this? Oh, my walk punch did that much damage? So my headbutt wasn't able to finish him, and headbutt's way more powerful than Mock Punch. Mock Punch is only 60 with stab versus headbutt that's 80. Nah. No, oh, whatever, man. It's Nuzleaf is weak to Mock Punch. Get out of here, you Nuzleaf. And, yo, 423. That's the XP, man. And yo, there's the Lombre. <laughs> Had to show up eventually. Yeah, wrestlers from all over. That's cool, man. I can dig that fake out. Oh, such a dumb move. That was a crit? That wasn't a lot of damage. I mean, I know fake out's low, but jeez. Yo, why you gonna swift me like that, man? I don't appreciate it. 